welcome to show 161. This is the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, and I'm your host, Drew Stone, here in New York City. I hope you are well. I hope you're better than well. Hey, what's happening, Nick? How are you, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Let's have a nice Wednesday show, huh? Huh? Let's have a nice Wednesday show, you and me and some of our friends. Let's talk about the tie that binds us together, music. What's up, Jonas? Hey, Vicky, what's happening? Oh, Canada checking in. When are you coming, when are you coming down to New York, Mark Tolch? RS, what's up, brother? How's the graffiti game, bro? <laughs> Scotland checking in. Good, good. Hey, Adriano. K Foch, what's happening? Spikey, what's up? Glad to have you here on a Wednesday. June 10th, is that right? Good. We'll do, we'll do something. Music is everything. Music is the best. That's what Frank Zappa said. Music is the best. That was his line. Music is the best. You know? So there you go. Ray Hogan is really psyched for this. I'm psyched for this. Fucking psyched, bro. Fucking psyched. I'm stoked. Yeah. Ah, Lenny's thing. Right. Okay, good. That's a great event. Good, good event coming up. Scott Earth, man, I was just thinking about you, bro. How are you, Scott? What do you say? How's things in Joyzy? Oh, come on now. Oh, it's a party now. Wow. Keith Burkhart from Cause for Alarm, my man. Just swinging by to say hello. You're my hardcore connection these days. Hey, listen, man. Anytime you want to get it back together, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll get those other guys on board. Don't Kabul is easy. I'll get Kabul. You know, I got you, bro. I'll get Alex too. He'll fall in line. Good to see you, Keith. I hope I hope you're well. I hope you and your family are well, buddy. Really nice to see you. Honored that you're stopping by. Speaking of honored. <laughs> Hello from the bunker. Hey, Kenny Rayner, what's up, man? I got your message. I'm sorry I didn't respond yet. Yeah. Oh, front rail crew. Life agony. What's happening? Oh, shit. LOA, what's up? Drew is the glue. Gotta stick together. Like glue. Like glue. Hey, I, I'm sorry if my voice is a little fucked up today. I had a high in the mighty rehearsal last night. He, he was he was berating the staff behind the scenes. You listen, you fucking man. You better play that bass. <laughs> We were fucking singing. Uh, we, were do, we were doing Kiss songs last night. Oh, geez. Are you Gene or Paul? Um, because this show here, when we do this High and the Mighty show, um, Paris Mayhew is going to come and play with us. And we're going to do nice. a bunch of Kiss songs. I'm going to sing Calling Dr. Love. And Tristan's going to sing Deuce. Oh, nice. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yep. You know, you threw me for a little when you introduced the show. You said show 161. Oh, did I? Yeah. You're turning back time. I think we're at 261. No, we're at 261. That's crazy. Jesus, what am I fucking thinking? It's fucking show 260. Jeez. Yeah. Screech it yeah. to 300. God. So anyway, yeah, we're, we're my voice is a little messed up. I was screaming songs that I wrote when I was a teenager. Uh, we got this show on, on June 25th coming up. So, uh, And don't forget uh, the June, what is it, June 18th, right? If I could turn back time. <laughs> don't forget that, that Biohazard show, too. Yo, fuck Biohazard. Yo, it's Cher, bro. <laughs> is it, isn't that the video she did with her ass hanging out? Like, on, yeah, on, like, on a, the on Intrepid. A, yes, like, on the on the, on the, on the If I could carrier. turn back time, I <laughs> would... Be half naked. I would have my ass hanging out. What could I say, bro? Some people just like to be half naked. It is what it is. 
You know, every, everyone should have to walk around half naked. Everyone. Yeah, That's not everyone. I got think about uh, Gigi Allen. <laughs> you know what? I'm in charge now, and this is this is it. I'm the fucking boss. That's it. Everyone's Every, naked now. Every everyone's naked. <laughs> Ray Hogan, what's up? Gorilla Biscuits H two O. We're going. Very excited. Hey, let's talk about some upcoming shows, you and me, huh? Yes. Hey, Joe Romini. It is Joe Romini, the Texas Silver Rush, Vinny Stigma's cousin. Yes, got to shout him out. Got to shout him out. Shout him, shout <laughs> him, shout him out hard. Duh, duh. Shout out from Fredericksburg, Texas, Joe Romini, one of our one of our most staunch supporters. Thank you so much for your support uh, through the years. You know, who's dating a thirty year old dude? Cher, probably. Or Madonna. I think Madonna's dating some 24-year-old fucking guy. I don't know, Cher or Madonna. That's a tough, that's a tough call, you know. I'm not sure. You know. I'd so probably you, you know what? Take... Yo, I'd roll with Cher, I think. Mm. I'd roll with Cher because because she fucked with Sonny back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. She dated Greg Allman. That means that means she's naughty. That's yo. right. That's yo, right. That means she's she's mad naughty, yo. You know. And and uh, Richie Sambora too. Ooh, that's that'll set you back a little bit. <laughs> you know. So we got stuff okay. coming up. All right, here we go. Uh, Sunday we got Riz back on the show. Um, of course, uh, you know Riz has split from Soulfly. And he has a new band, Revenge Beast, uh, which which we're excited about. And, of course, they are on that High and the Mighty show that we just talked about. So uh, coming up, uh, it's, a week from, it's a week from Sunday. Is that right? Is that the next show? Am I forgetting? Maybe. Am I missing well, Yeah, because we got, we got the Rampage Fest this Sunday. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what it is? I see what it is. Rampage Fest is Sunday. Wednesday, I'm in Milwaukee with Biohazard. Ah, so yeah. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean? I know what you're saying. What's up? Woo! That's cool, and this is good, too, to the pre Milwaukee Metal Fest pre-party. That looks pretty Ooh, cool, actually. This looks good. And you know what's funny? It's like a bunch of dudes that have been on the show. Phil Demo, um, Rob Dukes, Dino, Jamie. Jamie. All, they've yeah. all been on the show. What's that thing that uh, Ric Flair does? Woo! 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 <laughs> all right. And Tim then the rescheduled, the rescheduled Tim Shaw, who's a very outspoken advocate. Um, looking forward to having him on. He also does goat yoga. So... No, he does. Yeah, he's the dude that does goat yoga in Jersey. Woo! I love I love the goats. Woo! Yo, shouting out Sean Refuse from hey, Chum Huffer. There we go. Get- Is that right? Got my got my Chum Huffer shirt on. Yo, Sean, I'll talk to you tonight. We want to get we want to get up there to play. This is like a real free. This is like it's a real freestyle show today. So get ready. <laughs> um, a- a- after Tim. Is the infamous, uh, much lauded Chris Jericho, which everybody's kind of freaking out about. Uh, yeah. This isn't this isn't announced on social media yet. These guys don't want it announced yet, but we talk about it on the show all the time. Wednesday, June twenty first, Chris Contos is now playing drums for the Forbidden, and they will be on the show. And then my birthday. The show this year is on my birthday which is two days before my dad's birthday. Arnie's going to be 90. So hopefully, this is hopefully, because right now he's in a rehab and he's going back to assisted living. Hopefully, he'll be in condition, some condition, decent enough to come on the show. Also, coming on the show is Team Seinfeld. Evan Seinfeld and Sam Seinfeld. So... You know, I thought about what I wanted to do for, you know, it's my, the show's on my birthday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do on my birthday. I want to bring my dad on and I want to bring one of my best friends on with his kid. 
So that that's that's what's up with that, you know. Um, Jatan uh, coming on the show. People very excited about this, including Rochelle, my girlfriend, who is super over the moon about this one. Mm. We, we've interacted with Jatan a bit. Uh, uh, Joel Ghostin is co-hosting this, and I always like when when Joel's on. And then we just announced this the other day from the unsane Chris Spencer on July 9th. And this was announced yesterday. My old friend, Paul Rackman, who not only directed the film American Hardcore, but also directed Bad Brains video Soulcraft. He did Alice in Chains, Man in the Box, Sepultura Territory, Water for Territory, um, Temple of the Dog, Hunger Strike. Hunger Strike, yeah. That's and a good he one. did like three Pantera videos. Yeah, so, that's going to be a good one. Yeah. So lots going on. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's my, my birthday show, my birthday show, the High and the Mighty show, this thing, I am, there will be a cake there. Uh, that cake was so good last year, bro. I know, right, Chucky? That shit was so good. Got to bust out the happy hat. I know. Where were the happy hats around? Oh, yo, you know who's here? You know who wants to say hello? Uh-oh. Oh, you brought that up with you. That's funny. Hold on. Does anyone remember this guy's name? <laughs> yes yes I yo i got him back from florida bro i put him in my suitcase and brought him back smuggling I don't, I don't reptiles think, i don't think you're supposed to bring shit like this on the plane something tells me like this isn't like do you have anything in your bag like uh no um i have a dead animal i have a is this an animal a lizard is it's a an reptile animal. it's a reptile well, so are reptiles are not animals? Well, I guess it's an animal. Do you have anything to declare? Why, yes, I have a dead reptile in my bag. Well, how dead is he? Pretty dead. Yep. You know? What else going on? Well, we got the uh, the rampage this weekend. Rampage Fest is this weekend. Come one, come all. Free, all ages, Sunday matinee on the Bowery. You know, there is an event before that. Rap Bones has Rap his... Bones. Ho ho hold on. Let me, let, me give, let me give the world a little... Ready? Rap Bones! Rap Bones! That's all you get. <laughs> it is the... Oh, no, no, there's a better way to do it. Hold on. It goes like this. Rap Bones! One day pop-up sale. I 20... <laughs> Uh, right there on, on rap, on rap bones street, 25th street between eighth and ninth rap bones will be doing a one day pop-up sale. Then Rare the next day is rampage fest five reaching out cropsy extinguish the code pink mist sewage raid disguised two stages, seven bands, free all ages matinee on the Bowery. And then after that, of course, is uh, Milwaukee metal fest. We talked about. And I will be the day, the, the morning, 6 a.m. after this Friday, May 26th Biohazard show, I will be on a plane at 6 a.m. out of Milwaukee to get my ass to Tompkins Square Park because we're doing this show. Rebelmatic, Lee, Rebelmatic, Leeway, Butterbrain, Winter Wolf, Scott Helland, Army of One. And then, of course, the Irving Plaza Biohazard show, which I believe is just about to sell out. We talked about the High and the Mighty show. July 30th, it's a dog eat dog show with cereal poets. Your yeah. birthday. Your birthday. Amen to that. Don't want to miss that one. Amen to that. And then the take is August 23rd. Much Mr. More Pickle. Mr. Pickle. Yo, fuck that. I'm there to see Mr. Pickle. Yes, <laughs> ra yes, Rap Bones. Rain or shine. Listen, what I'm hoping for is that it's pouring rain. And I could go down to the event in the pouring rain and, and 
buy rap bones is crap in the ring. That's that's all I can hope for. <laughs> uh. No rap bones. Don't bring shit to Rampage Fest. Sell all your shit the day before, bro. Don't bring your shit to Rampage Fest. Sell all your crap the day before. Now you can, yo, yo, the the thing's not in front anymore, rat. There's no, there's no. That's right. Um, they they took away the uh, the outdoor dining booth. Yep. 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 Yeah, right there you go. You have killed half of New York City with your lizard carcass pandemic. John Joseph's going to turn on you and fuck. Listen, bro, <laughs> let me tell you something. John Joseph turned on me a long time ago, bro. <laughs> that went bad a long time ago. Um, that said, um, all right. Well, hey, I'll let you get back to work. All right. Is it hot in there yet? No, actually, today's not too bad. It's actually kind of windy today, so. All but right. this is good, so I'll, we'll have uh, we'll have some pictures for everybody next time we see them. All right, we'll talk to you soon. This is it, the one, the only New York Hardcore Chronicles live. Still at it. We are sponsored by New York Com- New York Hardcore Comics, The Organic Grill, The Texas Silver Rush, Generation Records, 126 Hardcore Clothing, Upstate Records, and are you looking for extreme music? DTFM Vinyl has got you. Located on 13th Ave in Fargo, North Dakota, we have the state's best selection of punk, hardcore, metal, ska, oi, and more. Can't make it in? Shop online from anywhere in the country at www.dtfmvinyldistro.com. DTFM Vinyl, where the policy still is and always will be. Death. Death. To false metal. Come on now, 126 Hardcore Clothing. They're a streetwear brand for restless individuals who don't compromise. They're about being positive, spontaneous, and true to yourself. For years, they experimented with several printing methods and materials and collaborated with a large number of designers and illustrators, always giving room for fresh perspectives while retaining the hardcore attitude. Get in touch with them. Ramp up your game at www.126clothing.com. Okay, let's bring our guest on. Um, Everybody, hey, Courtney, what's up? Good to see you. John Joseph, yo, John Joseph for show. Yo, John Joseph will not come on the show again. Believe me. I think it's pretty safe to say, you know. Let's not let's not open that. Let's not kick that hornet's nest. Uh, Mark told true story. I'm so stoked to be here on a Wednesday. I don't even know who you're interviewing today. LOL. Got out of a meeting early and jumped on. Fair enough. Well, let me tell you. We're excited about who's on today. Let's clear the deck and let's bring them on. Today's guest is a musical archaeologist, documentary filmmaker, producer, and photographer hailing from the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. In the past 13 years, he has tirelessly researched and photographed the origins of some of the most iconic images in music and film. His Instagram page, The Band Was Here, has nearly a quarter of a million followers. Please welcome back to the show, coming at us from Bucks County, PA, Mr. Steve Birnbaum. Hey, man. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How are you? <laughs> good, good. Thanks for coming back. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you, yeah. Can all you hear me good. all right? I can. Even though my <laughs> voice is pretty fucked up today? Yeah, I got hit yesterday. I'm... I'm uh starting i don't know if i have covid or something but i'm a little i'm feeling it something's coming up i don't know is covid still out there i mean people still you know testing positive i hope i don't have it yeah that'd be the third that'd be the third time i've had it three times so only had it once so that's good thanks for having me on man i'm excited hey you keep a neat room Let's take a look at your. Let's take a look at your room over there, huh? Pretty neat over there. Look at that. Mm. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's my wife. That's not nothing. Nothing to do with me. What's What's that in the back? Uh, uh, the green poster on the back wall with the green on it. The 30, 30 something. Other other side. That other one. Side. No other side. Oh, uh, Dinosaur Junior. Ah, that's there right. Their shows at uh, Bowery Ballroom for the thirtieth right. anniversary. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, that was great. So huge fan of those guys. Yeah. 
So let's talk a little bit about, about, you know, I'm a huge fan of the page, bro. I love it. I chime in constantly. I, I love the work you do. I appreciate the work you do. I know how much goes into it. And I know there's not a real money. There's not a money. I can't even say there's not a real monetary. There's not a monetary reason behind it. You do it because you love it, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I just love the photography. I love musicians. I uh, love the history of music. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, <clears throat> I'm continually learning as I'm going, uh, as I research bands, uh, photographers, it's a learning process as I go along. So, which I love. Uh, yeah. If anybody, uh, as we're watching the show there, my suggestion to you would be to pick up your communication device, uh, get on Instagram. It's at the band was here and, uh, check out what's, check out what's happening on Steve's page. We're going to be talking about a bunch of the stuff and putting up, but check out what's going on. A lot of great stuff. That's the Instagram right there. So uh, jump on there right now and, uh, and check it out. So I was thinking we'll just jump right into it, you know? And, and, and one cool thing we're going to do, one, one cool thing we're going to do is you sent me uh, some stuff like that you're kind of looking to figure out. Maybe our, maybe our audience can help us a little bit and some other stuff. Yeah. You know? So let's start I want to start with – this is a good one, bro. This is so good, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's start with this banger right here, man. That's yeah. it. That's a classic one. Yeah. Oh, it's just so great, man. It's, yeah. It's, it, you know, it, it's so great. And Now, I have to put up the pictures individually, so everybody be patient with me because the other way to do it you could do it through this through this platform, but it doesn't really let you put the full full um, photo up. And and I want I want everybody to see the full photo. So this is the Ramones, and this is this is the was this the cover of their first record? Uh, yeah, this was yeah. <clears throat> so there's I mean, there's that, and let, let me show another one. I guess this is kind of a a cool outtake that, that I've never seen. This is a cool outtake. Now, these yeah. are, these, these are photos taken by Roberta Bailey. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Can you give us some background on this, some perspective? How, how did you, how did this, how did this happen? She has a bunch of other photos, which is if you, if you, you can dive into uh, the negatives, anyone gets a chance to dive into the negatives. I, I was able to really locate, well, it's kind of a well-known, more well-known place. Now it's Albert's, uh, um, uh, geez, what is it? Uh, I think it's called Albert, garden? It Albert's garden or yeah. And it used to be an old basketball uh, court from what I saw in her old negatives when she took those pictures. Um, it's pretty amazing that the story that she, she got paid very little for those images Right. And it became just a, such an iconic image later down the road. Um, but yeah, there's a whole, there's a bunch of other photos, but obviously that, that became the most iconic one. Um, so so yeah. is, it, it was a basketball court and now it's just a garden. It's, it's so amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's so amazing. That, it's so amazing that people could sit on that bench and la 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 and just have no idea of the incredible history. It, I, it, that's, that's awesome you know yeah i was i was actually talking to some of the people that were running uh the garden and i would i would love to try to do some kind of we paste on that wall or sure. a statue or something sure. so people know that that's there and they could visit it and make donations or whatever it is but uh yeah you would never know if if you know just walking in there i mean this is uh, this is the outtake again but you know that first ramones cover is one of the most iconic images in punk rock history. Yeah, yeah. You That's know, I mean, the, for I a, mean, a lot. The, 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 yeah, I mean, that was that was. You know, well, let me hold on. I want to. I want to get the. Uh, I want to get it again. You know, I got to say that, like, yeah, this is it. This image here was. I think was 
Yeah, this is one of the most iconic images of all time. This, the black, black and white, and yo, the Ramones, the Ramones look hard as fuck in this. Yeah, picture. it's funny to see the other one where they're laughing and jo yeah. joking, you know. But yeah, this is the kind of the only image that they were looking tough and not laughing. Like, I grew up in New York City, and these are the, like the kind of kids you'd avoid. Yeah. Like if you were on the subway and you saw these four guys, you'd be like, oh man, you know, oof. Yeah. I mean, everything about it just fits. I, you know, I don't yeah. know if it's history that kind of, uh, you know, makes that the way it is, but the font, yeah. the black and white, the yeah. leather jackets, the, the brick wall, the decay of it, it just, yeah. it's stuck a chord and it's, it's great. <clears throat> I mean, this one, here it is again, one more time. This is, so, I mean, this one, I assume, was fairly easy to sort of figure out. Yeah, that one's pretty well known. Um, okay. Yeah. It, it took me a little bit, though, to find exactly where it was. Sure. And like sure. I said, I had to dive into the negatives. And there's there's some images of them in the front of the of the garden. There's this fence. And I can see in the background where there was a basketball court I where that, that little lead, that little edge of the brick wall. Um, so I was able to determine it all from that. Yeah. It, it, that's what, it helps me a lot. Just going into the negatives and seeing the images that people don't see or are familiar with. When it you, kind of you, sets the story. When you say go into the negatives, it, it, are, Robert, are, are Roberta's negative the contact sheets more? It's, it's more of the contact sheets. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 are they, are they accessible we, online? Some of them are. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think New York times actually did a article on her, and had some of the some of her other shots from the contact sheet, and and that's really helped me piece it all together. And then when I got there, of course, the staff was great, and 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 they that's are cool. obviously well. Is aware that the low? It. Is that the Lower East Side? Yeah, that's uh, well, that's uh, uh, I can give you the exact. Is it seventh, fifth, sixth? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, <clears throat> that makes sense. Um, let's do another one. This is uh, yeah, sec Second Street. Sorry. Oh yeah. Second Street. Second Street. Wow. Probably walked past it a million times. Sixteen East Second Street. Oh yeah. Right. Right off like, right off like, C or B. You know. It's right um, between Second and uh, Cooper. Uh, Cooper Square. Yeah, oh, right. that far yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Here's another one, sort of. Now we're, we're doing film too today. We're doing music and film. Um, I like this one, and it's sort of it, it's interesting because because you mentioned, uh, well, let let it speak for itself. You know, this is uh, obviously you know, um, this is Fridays from the film. For, excuse me, Friday taken from the film Friday, right? And that's Ice Cube and um, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker, excuse me. Chris Tucker before we kind of went batshit, you know, and uh, this is this is cool. Let me show a couple pictures and then I'll ask you for some background on this. But yeah, but this just just looking at this, it seems to me like the people that own the house now. Let me see. Yeah. The people that own the house now sort of I see a sign there. It says no smoking or yelling. Ten dollars per pick on porch. Please be respect respectful of property. So, I'm assuming the people that own the property have kind of like set up a photo op. Is that? Yeah, right? yeah. And I I didn't know that going there, nor did I have cash in this day of age. So they I don't know if they took Venmo or anything. Right. I, I kind of took the picture and got out before anyone noticed me. Um, it's funny though that whole block, that whole street is where they filmed the you know did most of the filming. So everyone else. One of the, all the other characters in that film, all the other houses are kind of have their own thing going for them. Is that um, right? Yeah. So they're all kind of like five dollars for a pick on the lawn. You could, you know, do the hose and um, yeah, it's it's uh, they got a whole little thing going, which they were nice. I, I've connected with them on on Instagram since, and and they've been uh, nice, but um, it's pretty funny. It's it's interesting that they're and, they're and doing what that. what neighborhood is this in? That's in uh, South Central. Ooh, is yeah. that? Oh, here, here, here's a great shot of it here. So it's in South Central, which I'm assuming is a little bit of a challenging neighborhood still to this day. 
I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say anything yeah. during the day. It seems yeah. fine. It seems right. I'm, I'm, I felt safe. I, you know, I, I went up there, they have this display out, you know, right. Right. Uh, and they have the two, you know. they have the two chairs and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's great. But, I mean, you know, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. when these, when people like this, sure. no, I don't know about the whole charging of money and everything else. I understand they have probably so many people coming up to the house yeah. daily. Um, I can understand it, <clears throat> but I, I, I appreciate when people embrace the history of yeah. movies or the music and, yeah. and, you know, and go with that. <clears throat> yeah. I, 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 I agree with you hundred percent on that. Um, Here's here's the last shot on that, which is sort of like the setup when you walk. Uh, so, so they have like this photo, like a blown up photo behind the thing that sort of sets the scene, huh? Yeah. So you know, yeah. They're smart. Yeah. They, see, so they, they, I mean, it's, it's changed since the movie. Obviously, they've painted it a little bit. The doors yeah. changed a little, but uh, yeah, that's the spot. And um, wow. that's yeah, great. yeah, that's cool. I think there was. Was there two Fridays movies or three or four? I think there might have been three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was some funny shit, man. Yeah, the first one was great. And this is the shot. I just one more time with the shot. I just love the look on their faces in this shot here. You know, just that's yeah. I mean, that's them right sitting there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Good Old shit. Nice cube. Yeah. <clears throat> He's done very well for himself. He has. Yep. Um. Another one, uh, you know what? Kind of, let's go back to the, let's go back to what I think is the Lower East Side. Because um, I'm not sure where this is, but I'm sort of assuming that this oh. is somewhere in Lower Manhattan. You're going, ah, I wish I knew. Uh, <clears throat> that's down, I think, near the, that's lower, like more of the Tribeca West. Cause, cause, west. Cause this, this side this didn't ring i i don't mm. recognize this at all um man uh is it j street what street is that oh, yeah yeah this, so this is an is, old this is uh, yeah i wish i knew uh i had this off the top of my head but it's all it's definitely on the west side and it's down near the tribeca more near like the holland tunnel sure um sure. yeah it's it's uh there's some other shots there that's that's kind of how i knew uh by seeing this picture. Um, but I also, I think when I found this one, it, it was because of, uh, I just went through cobblestone streets still located. That's how I found these. Is that right? Yeah. Just like, and you know, there, there's a map of like cobblestone streets that are still around in New York city. And I'll just go by one by one and, <clears throat> and narrow it down and try to figure out. And then finally it, I was able to, to pin it that way. Wow. Um, Oh man, I wish I knew I had. Um, and that's 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 the cramps. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's a, that that's a cool one, man. That and that's, I think that's like the original cramps. You know, I tell I tell my cramps story on the show a lot. You know, what do you got? Any throwing up? Is it? No, no, no. It? Um, oh. I think we could go for it. We, we could go for it one more time. Um, I was in LA with Biohazard recording in 1993 at AM Studios, and we were staying at the Oakwood Apartments. And we would go to get food and go shopping at Rock and Roll Ralph's supermarket, <laughs> which was on Sunset Boulevard. And Rock and Roll Ralph's was open 24 hours. So you go in there, you go in Ralph's at like one, two in the morning, and it's full of like actors. And fucking musicians, right? Mm. It's like rock and roll. It's like on sunset, and you know, it's yeah. right there. So we're in there at like 3 a.m., right? After being in the studio all night and everything. And I'm in the aisle and, and I turn the and I turn the corner of the aisle, like, oh boom. And right in front of me is Lux Interior and Poison Ivy pushing a shopping cart. <laughs> and he decked deck to the nines. He's wearing the high heels and the leather pants. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit. Lux interior. <laughs> Rock and roll Ralph. That's man. great. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Was that 91 one, you said? No, 93. Going back to 93 is, is when we were out there. Yeah. Um, this one, you, you know, I, I tried to group some of these. 
as like stuff that's in my neighborhood stuff, you know, but, but we're, we're going to kind of go all over the place. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do this one while we're out in LA, right? While we're, while we're telling LA stories, let's talk about this one right here. Yeah. The germs. So, this yeah. is the germs, man. This is a, this is a, this is a great shot of the, the germs. And this is an Ed Culver shot, right? Yeah. Uh, no, this one. No, uh, no, no. Culver didn't do that one. <clears throat> um, I don't know who did, if not Ed. Um, I did see one. Maybe I got it mixed up with something else. Yeah, but Ron Spencer did that one. Ron <clears throat> Spencer. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, how do you track something like this down? With I knew that was. I knew that one was in the the Hollywood Forever uh, oh, cemetery. You did? Yeah. So then I just you know, that's pretty. I mean, that tomb there is. Yeah. There's not going to be. That's not just like a little grave. Yeah. Uh, so that was easy once I kind of drove around and and, and yeah. saw it. Uh, it you know, it was there. That's not did you Did stuff. you literally like in the rental car, like driving around and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I could just picture it because I've been in there a couple of times, just driving going, fuck, that's it. Yeah. It's, it's across actually from uh, the Johnny Ramone uh, grave. It's right, uh, right in that area. Here's, here's the other one, which uh, you took, which <clears throat> <clears throat> kind of gives you perspective on the whole thing right here. Yeah. Yeah, I've been adding that. I think it it helps. It's, it's interesting to see these photographs and the photographs that were taken and the people that were in those images, and then to see it now without those people in it. Especially, you know, some of those people are n no longer with us. But <clears throat> um, yeah, it's it's an interesting. It's a it, it's a different it's a different take on it. It does and, something. And, yeah, and that's that's a fairly recent <clears throat> add on in 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 on the yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I've been trying to do that a little bit more um, time permitting. And if I remember, but yeah. Now, I one like thing you I don't do is you don't tell where it is, which is probably a good idea, right? Some, I will. Some, some people reach out, um, yeah. you know, I, I'm not, I'm not a stickler for it. You know, if people yeah. are interested in seeing some like, the, the, you know, some are, are on properties home, you know, obviously the Friday one, they are okay with people knowing it, but you know, I am also trying to be respectful of, yeah, um, you of know, course. people's privacy. And if it is on locations where people live, especially apartments and, sure. and houses, private property. So, you know, I'm trying to be respectful Absolutely. and yes, I, I put a lot of time and effort into finding these spots. Uh, I want people to visit it, but you know, yeah. I'm also busting my ass trying to find these things and you know, yeah. Yeah, I see. I see a lot of copycats. People try to do it then, and they take credit for it, which I, you know, yeah. sometimes don't appreciate as much. So, like, I'll, I follow a couple of those like <laughs> abandoned places, abandoned locations, or, or mm -hmm. you know, and they and they post stuff, and everyone's like, "Where is this? Where is this?" And they they never tell people where it is. Yeah, I guess yeah. It because it's just kind of sort of not a good idea. Um, how about while while we are still. While we are still in LA, um, LA's been about, good. LA's been great. I mean, I've I've appreciated. There you go. I mean, LA, LA's, LA's been LA. good, right? Yeah, it is. And in a lot of things, like look at that image. Like that hasn't changed since I don't yeah. know, Bob Gruen took that in uh, '77, maybe. Right. Um, <clears throat> I mean, things don't change in LA as much as they have in New York, and so I've been appreciating that a little, appreciating that a little bit more when I go to these locations. Because it's fun to match it up with things that are still there. I can match up things in New York, but some of the buildings are just gone. So yeah, it's like, right. yeah, this was here, but there's nothing. Um, some of the fun of it is to match up things that are still there. Uh, sure. And I can't do that. And that's New York changing, you know? Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess, I guess something like this, when you, in a situation like this, I'm assuming at this point you kind of bunch a couple of things up like, Hey, I'm going to LA in a couple months. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to do the Johnny Thunders thing. I'm going to go to, yeah, you got to, yeah, I have, I have a map. I, I pin all these locations. I kind of, wow. 
uh, put out exactly where I'm going to go. So I'm in the vicinity of this or I go to this one and, and I kind of do a whole route and, um, <clears throat> and I get images that I want to find and, and yeah. Yeah. I think, I think slash and Tommy Lee went to Hollywood high school. I think that's pretty oh, yeah. safe. That's great. There's a, bit, a lot of history there. Yeah. And, uh, here's, here's, um, what it looks like today. Like you said, you're posting these shots now. Here's a shot of what it looks like today. And it's actually really beautiful, really, yeah. really nice. You know, yeah, it's, uh, I think that school really embraces the arts and the people yeah. that have come from it and everything else. So, and, yeah, and, and here is the original shot that Gruen took. Listen, when it comes to the dolls, Bob motherfucking Gruen, man. Yeah. You know? It's great seeing those pictures, the New York dolls, Bob Gruen out on the West Coast. I love seeing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I love this series. You, you know, I noticed, I, and, I, and I didn't pull them, but I noticed some shots of, of Johnny Thunders and David Johansson on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mm -hmm. And I do believe he was wearing the same thing. I'm kind of assuming it was maybe done in the, on the same day, the same sort yeah. of photo session. Yeah, I would think so too. Yeah, and that helps me a lot too when I'm finding these locations. I'm trying to pin, you know, if, if I don't have a location, I'll see kind of where they're walking to, you know, especially right. in New York. Sure. I'll know that, okay, I have this location pinned down and I know they ended up here, but there's some shots in between here. Right. I assume that they probably took it while they're walking and doing this photo session. So I'll be able to locate some of the stuff just by piecing little clues like that together. Sure. So like you're saying, they're at the Hollywood High School and then they're down on Sunset Boulevard or whatever. Right, right, I know right. they probably took a route there. So if there's other images, they're probably within that route. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Um, Paulie says... That must suck when you find the correct spot, but you can't recreate the pick because of changes to the area. I mean, but usually, I mean, I mean, unless it's like, unless it's totally different, you 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 sort of match it up to the best, you know. Usually, yeah. Right? I mean, like like I said, yeah. I I like like having a little lineup of something, sure. edge of a building, right? Um, you know, the concrete, the sidewalk, whatever it is. I like matching up something so you can kind of connect them together. But sometimes, yeah, it's completely different. Yeah, and people like seeing that. Uh, you, they do, and they don't. They, sure. they they're sad that the, you know, the terrain has changed so much. But um, it shows history. It shows change, and it shows history. And sp and speaking something. of history and, and change, th this next one is is here in my neighborhood, and and this is a band that I've um really 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 loved these days, and uh, I almost you know. I listen to them a lot these days and I've learned to, this is a band that sort of went by me really, you know, in a certain way at the time. And now I'm, I don't want to say I'm infatuated with this band, but um, I love this band and that's Oasis. Oh, wow. And, and uh, was, uh, I didn't think that was going to be, <laughs> I didn't, I, I have not, I, I haven't gotten there yet. I, what, 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 what turned you on to them? The documentary. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I watched the documentary about them. I think I think I saw the documentary called Supersonic. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend it. It's done very well. And and it just really it just really spoke to me. And um I was intrigued and I got on Spotify. And you know, on Spotify they have like something called like, you know, this is Oasis, you mm -hmm. know, and it yeah. gives you sort of like the best hits or what you know what I mean. And I just started listening to that and I just started loving it. And uh, just really, really, um, I just love the band now. And I, I just, I just, now I'm, I'm past that. I'm, I'm into their solo stuff now. And I listen to them a lot. Um, they're really, 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 I think a great, I think in a lot of ways, they're almost like the last great rock and roll band of, Interesting. of, of that era, you know, before the internet and all that. They're the last great, you know, um, mega mega rock band, you wow. know. Um, so yeah, this, they're yeah. they're a band that um, yeah, it's just like that's when personalities come into play, and I just like yeah. the all the bullshit and personalities gets in the way. I, I try to not have that be the case, but yeah, it's really tough liking them sometimes. Yeah, well, I guess <clears> I, I I sort of if you don't go there, which I didn't, and you just listen listen to the listen yeah. to the music. Um, I find, uh, you know, Liam Gallagher's voice is, is 
really, really being um, something special. Yeah. And uh, of course, they are incredibly influenced by the Beatles. Of, obviously. And, yeah. yeah. And I mean, if you love the Beatles, you know, give Oasis a spin. And, mm. um, you know, here, here, they, here they are. Um, and and R, RS70 says, badass pick wild architecture. Of course, that is the Dakota. And that that doorway there, that that that, that vestibule, is where John Lennon was murdered. Uh, mm -hmm. Mark Mark <clears throat> David Chapman um, shot John Lennon five times in that vestibule, right there. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess as fans of the Beatles and of John Lennon, they made a pilgrimage there. So this one really kind of spoke to me. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of history there, a lot of images I've gotten of John Lennon, obviously. Um, but yeah, Oasis came and, and took the bag. This might be on their first U.S. tour. I think it is. Um, yeah. Oh, Ray Hogan says, tell, tell the Phil, Phil the super story. Yeah. Well, I, I know this is part of my, my, my walking tour. And um, uh, when I do my, my cinematic and music walking tour of New York, you know, I go big on the Dakota. Because I was, I was, I walked, I walked past, let me, let me see if I have, let me see if I have any pictures there. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Tell you what, let's take a little sidebar here. Let me, uh, let me pull, let me pull a Dakota picture or two here. So. Let's see. Well, uh, well, that's a movie. We don't want that. Well, Dakota, of course, Rosemary's Baby, Rosemary's right? Rosemary's Baby, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've gotten some images of that as well outside yeah. there. And, um, okay, I'm getting some, I'm lining up some shit here. This is, this is good. Um, okay. So here's a photo of the Dakota when it was built uh, in the late 1800s. And do you know the reason? Oh, wow. Do you know the reason why they, they called it the Dakota? No. Because when they built it, it was in the middle of nowhere. And it was a folly. And people said, well, you might as it's like it was built in Dakota, you know, mm. in the Dakotas. It was so far uptown, in, you know, in Manhattan, there was nothing around it. So it might as well be in Dakota. Yeah. You know, so, of course, later on. You know, they, they built, you know, the subway and they established Central Park. But when they built it, there, there, there was nothing of nothing of the sort there. You know, that's amazing. I've never seen that picture. Yeah. So this comes into play here. We looked at the picture of Oasis with that vestibule. Right now, here's a photo of John Lennon. And in this photo, he is signing a record for. Mark David Chapman. Have you ever yeah, seen this photo? He, yeah, there he is in the back there. Yeah, there he is in the background. That's Mark David Chapman. <clears throat> now, I'll, I'll, I'll try to tell the story pretty briefly. And so Lennon signs this, this um, album for Mark David Chapman. And Lennon gets into the limo. And he goes to the recording studio. And... Chapman uh, is, in, is, is there. He wanders into Central Park. He does his thing. You know, he was obsessed with the catcher in the rye. He comes back. He comes back to the Dakota and he stashes the record. Uh, ba back, in, back in the day, there was like big kind of like flower pots uh, mm -hmm. right there on, on that sidewalk there. Yeah, there, there might like, still be there. Right? I might cut it off. Yeah, yeah, uh, there, there might still be some there. Right. So... <clears throat> Mark David Chapman takes that signed record. He stashes it in sort of the bushes there. Lennon comes out of the limo. He goes into the vestibule with Yoko Ono. He calls Lennon's name. Lennon turns around. He shoots him five times. He kills him. People start gathering around soon after. And um, this, this, this guy, now, now let, let me segue to, to, to the, to the story is that my dad lived in a high rise on the east side and at a certain point the handyman in my dad's building this guy phil phil tells me 
I have I have the record that John that 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 John Lennon signed for Mark Chapman. Like, what? what are you talking about? He says he goes. I found it in in when I was there when they the crowd gathered after he was shot. I found it in the bushes. He so so Phil, my dad's handyman in his building, when they were there, he 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 said, "Oh, what's this?" He found this this record, right? <clears throat> so what happens is that they take the record because it's evidence, right? Mm -hmm. And Phil goes through this long protracted legal battle to get the record back because it's his yeah right it's his record now took him like 30 years to get the record uh -huh. and i was like yeah sure you got sure you got the record this and that you know sure pal you, you know what i'm saying a couple of years ago a couple of years ago in Our favorite rag, the New York Post. Right? <laughs> I see an article that Phil, Dad's handyman, <laughs> after 30 years, gets the record back. Wow. And he sells it for like, at the time, like, I don't know, quarter of a million dollars or something. It was the last, last signature. Last signature, yeah. Crazy, That's right? Crazy. So, like all those years, I was like, "Yeah, Phil, sure." How the fuck do you have that record? Yeah, you know? it's nuts. That's a crazy one, right? Yeah, yeah. So I love stories like that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate with the circumstances surrounding that one, but yeah, uh, that's pretty amazing. <clears throat> um, speaking of speaking of some of the shots that that sort of like really match up nicely, uh, this one comes to mind. Yeah, yeah, that hasn't changed. That's his high school. That's a, what kind of flex is that? You know, being successful, going back to your high school. I'm going to yeah. take a picture in front of my high school and and put it as my album cover for a huge album for LL Cool J. Uh, yeah. Hell of a flex, right there. Yeah, and this <laughs> was it. this was his second record, right? Yeah, this, this yeah. is his second record, and uh, yeah, this is is this um, Jamaica Queens? Is that what this is? Yeah, this is Queens. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, this one, this one masked up. That's by Glennie Friedman. Oh boy, oh, I'm gonna hear from Glenn. <laughs> Glenn's, Glenn's gonna blow up my phone, pissed off. Glenn, I love you, bro. We're, we're, we love your photos, bro. We're not disrespecting your stuff, man. You know, Andrew Jackson High School. That's Andrew Jackson. One. Andrew Jackson. His best record. Yeah, well, it was a good one. I like the first one. You know, um, where are we? While 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 we're in New York, you know, we didn't we didn't do this one. I, I I don't think we did this one on the first show. I mean, talk about iconic. Um, boom. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, for, I was really. I mean, I I didn't know that. Like, I actually shot a film <clears throat> down on that street, not knowing that that was really? it. I didn't find out until a few years later. Um, is that Hester Street? What what is that? Uh, that's Jones. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Jones is it or is it? It's not McDougal. No, it's a down there, McDougal, Bleaker, Bleaker. Yeah, right uh, there. Pizza's and, down there. Yeah. And here's um, here here's a view. what a you know what as beautiful as that street looked in the '60s, you know, it still looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's it's a nice. They've kept it. Um, and behind me, behind that, you know, behind me taking that picture. There's some nice cafes. It's a good location down there. Um, yeah, not much has changed. Uh, surprisingly, you know. You know, I I, I like how when, when you post things like that, you sort of put the backstory a little bit. If the photographer has a backstory, yeah. And uh, I, I read the backstory on this one, and it was really nice. You know. Yeah, Dylan lived right, you know, right around the corner there, and there's some images from his apartment looking down on a set of stairs, him looking up. Uh, yeah, and Sue's his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, just that whole history and area. Uh, there's a lot of yeah. great photographs of Bob Dylan specifically yep. there. Um, uh, Chucky, Chucky's requesting, and we will, we will, we will follow him up on that. He says, "Get that biggie one." Well, here we go. Here's the biggie one that you're talking about, right? And this is great, man. This is yeah, great. that's great. Could you give us some perspective on this one? That's another one I didn't know. <clears throat> I didn't. Uh, I had never seen that image, and I thought it was great. I thought it's just a great photo 
and that big him carrying that suitcase. Yeah. And obviously you have the world trade in, in the background. Yeah, that's um, right. uh, there's just a lot there. Um, it's just, that's just an iconic. I'm surprised actually that image isn't a little bit more known or, you know, yeah. I, I could be wrong maybe, but you know, it doesn't, I don't know. I, th I think that's a great image. I think it's just a great picture. I, yeah, I, I agree with you. And, and you know, it, I have a little bit of history with this with this street right behind him. Uh, for those out there that may uh, remember the biohazard Tales from the Hard Side video, uh, we shot right on that street there where he goes, you know, the carjacking, get the fuck out the car and leave it in the crosswalk. It's right. It, we shot right there. And right you could see in the biggie shot, although I think they've covered now, it used to be railroad tracks going down the middle mm. of the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see. I think you can kind of see it. Yeah. In that image. Yeah, <coughs> they've covered they've covered it up since, but we shot on that location for um, you know biohazard tales from the hard side. Yeah, and uh, I mean that neighborhood's changed a lot, but oh, there's yeah. there's still a couple of those streets that uh, w once upon a time in America, right? I yeah, mean right. That, that, that that street is still like a couple of yep. streets are still really 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 yeah. great. Yeah. You know? And uh, I don't know, yeah, maybe you didn't pull it, but I did get the image. I mean, something like that, it works really well when you have the photograph of it today and right. how it looks today. And obviously, right. because of the World Trade not being there anymore, sure, uh, it's, it's, it just makes it all that more special. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, um, let's do another one before we take a break. This one, this one really caught my eye. I thought it was really great. Um, let's go back out to Hollywood and, and tie this in, of course, James Dean, Rebel Without James a Cause. Dean. Yeah, I'm a I huge mean, this James is, Dean fan. Yeah, tell us a little, you know, and you really went deep on this, man. I, I saw you, you really outdid yourself on this. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about this and, and this one? How the heck did you figure this one out? There is some behind the scenes photos. There was a, I think there was a, um, <clears throat> Might have been Life that did a article on Dennis Stock who took the picture of that. And there was a behind the scenes image where you could kind of see the street a little bit more. And I was able to kind of combine that behind the scenes image with the scene after this where they talk in that little alleyway. Where they get in their cars, they drive off, and I kind of pieced it all together from that. Um, and and I was able to to locate it from that. And that alley is pretty much the same as as it was back in 1955 54 when they shot that film is this the alleyway shot you're talking yeah about? that's it i mean it's not really an alleyway I, I, it's more of like a side street kind of thing yeah which yeah. is great i mean la has so many of those those streets um <clears throat> but yeah i mean you know i'm a huge james dean fan i'm rebel without a cause was a huge film for me yeah, it's great um film. and and uh, you know, some it's it's interesting to see that some of those films shot on location and not being in studio or on Warner, yeah. Warner Brothers or anything. Yeah, uh, it it puts it all together, makes it real. Uh, it makes you know James Dean real, being standing in those locations. And, 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 and you know what I love? <clears throat> one of the things I um, what one of the things I really love about this is this this particular shot is you just feel it go from you could feel that it go from like present day like and just go especially with the barrel in the back yeah. on the right like that mm -hmm. barrel is yeah. like you know back in the 50s people still had like wood barrels yeah you know yeah. and like i love the i just it just fades into the past it's really yeah. great man. yeah but then 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 there's the telephone pole which is interesting yeah. And right. uh, yeah, fence and even the, the garage. If you looked at some of the other images I got there, like it almost seems like the garage hasn't been changed since then, which is amazing. <laughs> here's uh, here's what it looks like in present day: paved, you know, all paved and everything, and like, but but still, and and, and I guess that's one of the cool things about LA. In a lot of ways, a lot of LA hasn't changed much, you know, no, stuff yeah. like that. You know? Yeah, which I appreciate. I mean, appreciate yeah. for what I do, but I also appreciate just that's what I like going out there, seeing the architecture, the different designs, uh, uh, different neighborhoods, the side streets, the small streets, the hills. Obviously, everything everything involves with it. I'm appreciating it a little bit more, um, and it's unfortunate because I'm losing that love in New York. 
because things yeah. are changing so much. Um, yeah. I appreciate it when I go out there a little bit more now. Yeah, and here's a shot. Here's that <clears throat> shot in, in, in present day. Gee, I wonder – I wonder if these homeowners have any idea. I mean, they, uh, they at this must, point, yeah. I mean, I think how many pe- how many people show up these days for that? Not many, yeah, you would probably think, not. You know? Not a lot, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Good stuff. Um, let's um, let me take a sponsor break, and let's come back, and we'll bring on uh, some of the women of the pit, and and we'll continue on our journey. We'll talk about some Discord House, some minor mm. threat some Kirk Cobain. Um, yeah, we'll get Sounds into it. Sounds good. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Thanks, bud. And now, a word from our sponsors. Since 1992, Generation Records has been a mainstay of the New York metropolitan area music scene. Today, they offer a diverse selection of new and used rock, jazz, indie, hip-hop, punk, hardcore, metal, blues, soundtrack, and reggae LPs, as well as t-shirts, posters, and other merchandise. They buy used record collections of music memorabilia and will pay you top dollar for them. House calls made for large collections in the tri-state area. Call or email generationrecords at gmail.com and follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Hey! Guys, Vlad from Organic Grill. As you can see, we're in a new location on West 3rd Street, right by Blue Note and Comedy Cell. The place is bigger, kitchen is bigger, we have more varieties, more food. We are looking forward to treat you guys with great dishes. All Hardcore Chronicles, welcome to, to Organic Grill. We are going to serve all the events as we usually do, and we are happy to see you guys. What it do? Welcome to NYC Comics at 117 Main Street, Dob, Surrey, New York. I'm Debo the Pro with my homie. Lee Farley. Welcome to the spot. Oh, shit. Specializing in yesterday's and today's comic books, rare CGCs, toys, collectibles. Got skateboards, old school tapes. Magic the Gathering, Warhammer, video games, original art, original art pieces by your favorite New York City and worldwide artists. Let's go. Skate decks all day, baby. We also have the young reader section here for like 10, 10 and under. Uh, the pops. People love the pops. Star Wars. Star Wars. We are New York hardcore. We always rep the scene. Let's get it off. And we're back. This is the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live. Our guest today, back again, Steve Birnbaum, talking about his passion for photography and his Instagram page, The Band Was Here. Uh, I want to mention, of course, that the show is always in need of your support. There's a Patreon page there. I want to thank all the patrons out there, man. Couldn't do it without you, honestly. I don't want to get heavy on you. But uh, this show, this show just couldn't exist without your support, and I'm really grateful for it. And I want to thank you for it. And I want to thank everybody for even watching today. But if you can, please uh, join up on Patreon. Uh, there's a PayPal address there if you can make a contribution. There's a super chat function. Anything's appreciated. We must keep this train moving forward. So, you know, thank you for everybody that, that, uh, that contributes. I want to shout out my latest patrons, Tim Shear, Eddie Medina, Dr. Wolfenbergen, D. Kafizov, and Thomas Fritz. So thank you all so much. Uh, that said, um, you know, we talked about uh, in the pre-show, we talked about what was coming up. Um, there's no show on Sunday because we are doing Rampage Fest. Rampage Fest is this Sunday. That's right. And then Mark Rizzo is a week after that because the Wednesday after that, I will be in Milwaukee with Biohazard. So so there you go. All that's happening. 
Uh, that said, um, let's clear the deck and let's bring on our friend Lori Dawn from Women of the Pizit. Hey. <laughs> the Pizit? The Pizit. Women of the Pizit. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Good. Great show so far. Fuck are those green Crocs? Yes. Um, those are for Larry Kelly, if he's here. <laughs> what? He hates Crocs. Yeah. So when I noticed in the pre-show that they were sitting in the back, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave it. Those are for Larry. <laughs> so. You ever shake? You ever shake Larry Kelly's hand? Oh my gosh! It's like uh, you ever see like that like rock disease from Game of Thrones? You know where the people <laughs> they turn to like <laughs> they turn into rocks. That's what it's like. Shaking Larry Kelly's hand is like is like like sh like putting your hand around a brick. It's like it's like wood. It's like yeah. yeah. It's not like it's not human. <laughs> that's a guy. That's a guy that has never worn gloves in his life. No, he says that he uses his hands to like smooth everything. It's like sandpaper. It's human sandpaper. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I'm not going to say anything. No, no. Um, that said, um, <laughs> let's on. bring. You enjoying the show so far? So much, so much, so. Cool stuff, right? Yeah, really cool. Yeah, let's bring Steve back on. Hey, man. Hey. Hello. You know, I think the things that I like the most about your photos is that it really soothes like the OCD nah. in me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because good. a lot of times, I love seeing like you know before and uh, you know then and now photos. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times you see like historic buildings, then and now, blah, blah. But, you know, often they're taking at a, taken at a different angle. Yeah. And even if they're taken at the right angle, I, could, I notice the alignment is off. A little off, yeah. You know, and it bothers yeah. me. It bothers, I mean, you know, you probably don't <laughs> notice it, but I notice the little small things, which drive me nuts when I, you know, I'll sometimes go to these locations, whether it be the sun or some obstruction that I don't see it within the stupid iPhone that I'm taking it with. And I'll go back later and I'll see, I'm like, shit, that didn't even line up. Like what's going on? Like it'll drive me nuts. Sometimes I want to go back, but right, I, right, I appreciate, right. I appreciate oh, you I saying that. that. Thank you. <laughs> I was well, going to ask that, like how you took that. So you're just standing there with your iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, so that's what it, I, I was going to ask that as well, but let, let's move forward with this. But so before we get into what this is, so in any of these photos, Steve, you're literally holding your arm outstretched one arm yep. and got the other arm back yeah. uh, uh, with the iPhone. Yeah. And, yeah. and as I'm getting older, I'm not as steady, um, right. you know, it's a little right. bit more shaky and uh, being outside, there's like little things that I'm not going to complain, but sure. you don't take, you don't take into consideration whether it be wind or sun or the sun's directly in front of you and you're trying sure. to take a picture right into it. Those are things you don't think about or know once you right. until you get there. Yeah. Right. Um, like the shadows you know. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, you know, it's not brain, you know, surgery or anything, but you know, these are little things that come up that I have issues with, but this is, this is inside a, you know, controlled location. So, uh, and I have time, I'm not, you know, worrying about traffic and standing in traffic. And this sure. is, uh, <clears throat> This is Kirk Cobain and Courtney Love, if you can see there. This is yeah. a behind-the-scenes photo. There's some other images <clears throat> of them, and they're holding their their uh, daughter, Frances Bean, there. Yep, I have, I and, have those as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, so if you look at those images, I wouldn't have been able to locate those. It's right. just against a wall. I don't know right. where it is. But mm -hmm. it wasn't until I saw this picture that came about pretty recently – was I then able to determine on where that wall was, that they were set up there in front of that wall. So I knew it was that wall in that house of many walls within that house. I knew it was specifically at that location. So going back to what we were talking about before, Drew, <clears throat> of like, you know, contact sheets, negatives, going, diving in a little bit deeper and, and finding clues specifically on where things are. Uh, this is a good kind of example of that. And, What's incredible, so this is a house in, and here's what it looks like today. This is a house in Los Angeles that Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love lived in. Yeah, they rented it. They, rent, they rented it, and yet 
in 2023 and the place looks fairly dilapidated now it is yeah um, so someone so someone recently bought it and i think they're just gonna you know uh bulldoze it and and, and start uh a new house there um there was there were some issues of like trying to keep it preserve it make it a historic spot um but the location of it is on a hill. It's very hard to get construction up there. It's right behind the Hollywood Bowl, um, which wow. is interesting because it looks right down on the Hollywood Bowl. Wow. Um, and there's pretty there's some stories of you know, Kurt and Courtney, you know, listening to Neil Young play there back in '92 when wow. when he was playing and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> but someone bought it recently, and then you know the town was trying to preserve it, make it a historic spot. There was a lot of fighting back and forth, but I think he won and. Yeah, they're just going to now rebuild, but yeah. And, it's, and, it's and how does it, how do you go about this? Is finding out who owns the house these days and saying, "Hey, I'm a photographer. This is what I do. Can I get access?" Uh, <laughs> sometimes I will do that. I for this one, I did not. Is that right? You just got in there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, that was going to be one of my questions. Like, how much <laughs> trespassing is involved? You know? uh, yeah. I didn't take these photos. Let's just put that yeah, on the yeah, record. Yeah. All right. I, these aren't my photos. These this are someone is, else's. And this is, this is a great one because <clears throat> I'm sure this rings your bell yeah. when you can line it up like that with the shelves. And this is like, yeah. this is doing what you do. This one here is, yeah. this is like a, this is an upper deck home run. Right yeah. Here. Yeah. This was, yeah, this, is really, this was really special to me um, just because Kurt Cobain <clears throat> was huge for me musically and everything else and and just being in that location by myself with those photographs and seeing the history that was there uh it was pretty special um did did and here it is too when when, when you went in you did your research and you you kind of had you saw all these other pictures of them so when you kind of went in there the first time it, it must have been like wow yeah yeah it was i went in there once and i didn't think it was going to be open i just went up there going up with the idea of just, I'll be outside. I'll, you know, and I had gone up there a few other times before, always locked, couldn't gain access. This one time I went up there and the door was, there was a lock, a padlock and it was open. And wow. I thought there was maybe squatters in there. No one was in there. And I was really nervous and I didn't anticipate. <clears throat> I had the pictures, but I wasn't anticipating doing it. It was kind of like I was going somewhere else and I just was in the area and I decided to stop by. Wow. So I came back later. I hid the padlock. I hid the lock just so it would, someone wouldn't lock it back up. So wow. I hid it and I came back the next day and I was, <laughs> I had the time to do it and prep it and be there. And uh, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. That's great. It was kismet that it was unlocked. So it was meant yep. to be. Yep. I was making sure that, you know, everyone, everyone was okay. If, if there was somebody That's there. a big, that yeah. one, I think, is, is that one of your biggest scores? Yeah, it is. I think personally yeah. and, it did. Uh, it, it has some traction, you know. Uh, yeah, a lot of that was going to be my one. question. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. What was the is, most in in in? I know. I know. Sort of. Um, what a what a um, passionate fan base that Kurt Cobain and Nirvana have. Mm -hmm. So wh when you put something like that up on your page, is there like a real noticeable sort of bump and and texts and e and like messages and. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like, um, you know, I grew up yeah. with Kurt Cobain, but it's it's so many years later now that he's taken on that persona of the Jim Morrison, like when we yeah. were younger, or right. you know, those iconic yeah. Jimi Hendrix. He's now that to a generation That's that right. is, you know, finding him. He, he's he's been able to tap into generations as they, you know, continue, and yeah. younger generations. And so, yeah, I, there's a there's still a fan base within 2023, which is fascinating, and great. Yeah, and is like, there any particular photo that was um, just <clears throat> just very um, the most like labor intensive to find? Was this it? No, because I knew this one. I knew the location. I had okay. to just get the you know once I was able to get access to it, it was okay, easy. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, there's been yeah, there's tons of images that I'll just keep going back and not. I don't know where it is. I'll keep going back to it and I can't find it or um, yeah, there's, there's, there's many, many images that I do that with. Um, and, and unfortunately, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm nothing's coming off the top of my head as of like what was really hard to find. And, and I was able to finally locate it, but um, there has been a lot. You, 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 now you, what we're going to do in a bit is you sent me a, a bunch of shots of 
sort of like stuff you're looking to figure out and things like that. So, so we're, we're going to get into that uh, in a little bit. Um, be before we go there, I want to go here, which is a location <clears throat> that I'm somewhat connected with because this is, this connects with my um, typo negative, uh, where was, oh, it's up top now. My typo negative, my typo negative, you know, we did the typo negative black number one video. Um, and a lot of it was shot right here <laughs> at, uh, at Bethesda Fountain in Central Park. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that is that the, the gothic stuff that you see in the typo negative black number one video is the gothic arches are right here in Central Park. At Beth Bethesda Fountain, mm -hmm. and uh, so there's a little bit of a tie-in. I'm trying to tie things in here, but I mean, uh, definitely like iconic location. You know, yeah. so many things have been shot there, film. How did you go about getting filming there? <clears throat> Was it difficult for you? No, at the time, at the time, you know, my production company had you know the million dollar insurance policy and, and production insurance, and at the time, Paris Mayhew and I from the Chromags, we we were we were you know we were rolling, and um, I was legit. You know, and well, did uh, you shoot at night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, you know, we applied for a permit at the mayor's office, yeah. and uh, and was issued a permit. And you know, that's how that's how you did things back in the golden age of yep, music yeah. video. Yeah. You could get away with that. You'd have big playback speakers, and you, you know, this is I'm talking about when you could get away with fucking any. You could get away yeah. with a lot. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, and here's right. Here's a shot of of what it looks like today. And this is another location that I talk about on my um, uh, music and film tour of New York. Uh, this is this is Bethesda Fountain. You, you know, you know what goes down at Bethesda Fountain. If you ever saw the movie Ransom with Mel with Mel Gibson, mm -hmm. that that scene in the opening of the film where they swipe his kid that 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 happens right here at, yeah. at, at Bethesda Fountain. And uh, yeah, so many stuff. Uh, yeah. When Harry Met Sally poster was like right above there. Um, them standing there so many oh, things. yeah the With city the of angels rail, yeah. yeah now we talk about you tying in at these <clears> locations <throat> when you can tie was this done at the same time it was i went back uh yeah, yeah i went back with uh, david bowie um yeah which i think was uh from a video that got canned i don't think it ever came out um of those images right? yeah um and there's another series that i did as well at a different location with him of like all these, like, you know, Bowie through the errors of, you know, his, his fashion and everything else. Um, but this was part of it. Um, yep. But yeah, so many things shot there. And now it's like, you know, your, your quintessential, like, you know, wedding photography oh, early yeah. in the morning, you go there and, you sure. know, so many people have gotten there. You know, I, I, I've told this story. Um, I tell it on my, on my walking tour. Um, when we shot the typo negative black number one video there in 1993, I think it was 93, 94, something like that. Um, New York city was like in the grip of a, of like a crack epidemic. Mm -hmm. And this area, you know, underneath the, 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 right by the Bethesda fountain here, this part here was in incredible, uh, disrepair. Yeah. And there was multiple homeless people living in the, under there and those panels that you see, you see those, those beautifully um, uh, refurbished panels that are on top? Yeah. Those were all stacked in a corner. And they were, they were like basically destroyed. The place was decrepit. It was run down. It was disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a, a, certainly a dangerous place. Yeah. You know, it wasn't the kind of place you go through even during the day. It was like a homeless encampment. It was dangerous. Crack was prevalent. And all those, those, um, those uh, you know, uh, plates that are up, uh, you see here, were all stacked up and, 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 and broke, broken up in pieces. And I remember thinking to myself, what a shame. What a fucking shame. Yeah. It really would be nice. It would be incredible if someday um, they got the money to, to refurbish the place. And so when I go through there today and when I see, you know, things like this, it really, it really makes me happy that uh, they, they, they managed to, uh, 
you know, to clean it up and, and make it something. It's really beautiful because it has a beautiful work. Yeah. Yeah. I recently went, I don't know, a few months ago and they had the bathrooms open there. There's bathrooms yeah. right up wow. on the stairs, which was like, that, that says something, you know, yeah. when the bathrooms are open, things are no. going pretty good. Maybe. <laughs> <Final And step. laughs> we stop at those bathrooms on my tour and I say, beware, you know, a trip to this bathroom will take about a year off your life. You know, it's like, cause it's like, old school New York city public bathrooms, yeah. like the urinals, the men's urinals are those big stand up ones. They're like the size of coffins, you know, uh, Fucking gnarly. Those oh walls can talk. Yeah. Um, this, well, you know, we, we, we touched on this on the last one, but, but this one is near and dear to me because it's literally, I could throw, I could throw a rock to this location. Yeah, Miles Davis. Yeah, wow. uh, that took a while. Oh, that's that's another one. Drew is. I was like, how did I find that one? And there's another image, another view, which probably would have had to make me stand in the traffic to get that the other yeah. side. But in the, in you can see the background. I, I saw as, the yeah. I saw the other the other one right where yeah. he's standing by his car and the, the other guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I was able to. I was like, where the hell is that? And yeah. it wasn't until I saw other images from that shoot that I was able to, to piece it all together. Yeah. It's and this is, yeah. And this is, I live, you know, right on the park and this is right. This is literally, I'll look, I'll, I'll look, I'll see this location tonight because Riverside park is right above it. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. at night I, I, I go out for exercise at night and I look over the wall and you see that right there. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I could almost take a rock and throw it from my window and yeah, and, and, yeah. so that, that 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 one i like that one a lot it's great yeah and he he lived in the neighborhood he, he owned the brownstone in the neighborhood miles davis interesting yeah makes wow. sense um yeah. yeah and speaking of new york and speaking of new yorkers i know this one wasn't too difficult and i've seen this guy around a couple of times is roger waters mm -hmm. you've seen him you've, have you seen him in the subway a scene uh, <laughs> no no i haven't seen him in the subway um but I've seen him walking in the street by himself. I saw a video yesterday of someone was, uh, it's unfortunate with the, you know, with these cell phones and everything else. Now someone was filming him just on his phone in the subway car, just doing, minding his own business, but he takes I was the like, subway by himself. Yeah. I was he like, look at that. <laughs> Yo, he walks around by himself. He has no, no, no security, no bodyguard, nothing. Yeah. I, I tend not to like doing these type of photos uh, yeah. paparazzi photos anything yeah. like that i try to stay away from but i thought just this, this was fun yeah. there's a lot everybody, going everybody on here. a little bit of downtime right yeah yeah so, so um trying to get home yep yeah <laughs> that's a guy that's a guy i'd sure love to get on this show yeah <clears throat> You know. What's the furthest you've traveled for any of these and how do you decide? I mean, I guess that all these photos are something you're, you're fans of all these things, these yeah. music and film and stuff like that. But how do you decide on a project and, and what's the farthest you've traveled for one? I mean, I've only done the LA stuff because of business. Um, okay. I, I definitely want to, uh, travel a little bit more specifically for these locations i definitely want to go to uh minneapolis and um you know i'm gonna to go to seattle um okay. in august so i'm really excited about that and we talked about that just the whole grunge scene and and, and sure. everything that came out of there in the 90s so yeah. i'm gonna make an effort to go out there specifically for that um in august so right. um but it's all kind of you know it's it's that's it's good that i live here <clears throat> and i'm I'm close to Philadelphia. Course, I'm yeah. close to New York. I do business sometimes in LA so I can go there. I don't like not, I'm, I'm being more familiar with LA as I'm going out there more now, but you know, things aren't close. I thought were close, but I'm driving sometimes two hours yeah, uh, to get this certain location. Huh? So yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, for the most part, you know, I try to track down if I'm going somewhere. I was recently in Florida and I was, I was looking for some locations uh, that were in Florida knowing that I was going to be there. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, 
it, it all depends. It yeah. all depends. But it's it's made it's good that I'm in this area that's so you know has so much history to it. It's New York, so, you know, New York and LA. Are, it's what has I. Has there ever been any failed attempts? Like you get out there and all of a sudden, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, not there oh yeah, and, and um, like you know, going back to New York with the construction oh, yeah. and everything that's going yeah. on, and so many, yeah, it's just that's that's uh, you, know, you make so much of an effort to go out there. People don't realize that as well. You go out there and then there's construction or mm -hmm. uh, I can't get access to it. I know the Oscars were being filmed at, you know, they were setting up for the Oscars like two weeks before the Oscars. And mm -hmm. I couldn't get to some spots because they just had it closed down. Wow. Uh, things like that, you know, you just don't think about until you're there or, you know, you run into those problems. Yeah, I've been right. trying to get this cure photo up uptown near the Natural History Museum and they've had construction for yeah. seriously six years it's been wow. scaffolding has been there in wow. on this building for six years and just wouldn't do the picture justice and i love the cure and i'm just like i i think wow. i keep going back and scaffolding still there it's still you know <clears throat> gotta be a little bit more patient yeah. yeah you know why it's cheaper it's cheaper for them to put the scaffolding up than to fix it so they just keep it up <laughs> so they just well that's in, that's in case they like, shit falls they just have their well, well, I happen to know about these matters because, mm -hmm. you know, I live uh, I live in a, in a, in a, in a pre-war building and um, the whole scaffolding game. The reason you see so much scaffolding now in New York is once a building is violated and once a building has a violation, they don't necessarily have to fix it. But if they put the scaffolding up, then then they're in the process of fixing it or whatever. That's why some buildings have scaffolding for 10 years yeah. because the landlord would rather pay the scaffold, pay rent to the scaffolding company to have the building, have the scaffolding in front of the building for 10 years, then spend the money to fix it. Interesting. Yeah. Makes okay. sense. <laughs> so there you go. I got another few years then with this cure picture that I really want to get. So let's, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's take, let's take a deep dive into this <clears throat> and uh, man, there's a lot. There's a lot of currency here, and I'm talking about this whole bit. Here. Oh yeah, that was that was the one of the ones that like, if you you say like what ones do you really want to get? This was the the top the top one that I want to get. Um, not so much for the band specifically. I mean, I I love I love Minor Threat. I've come to appreciate them more. I was more of a Fugazi guy, <clears throat> um, and some of his uh, Ian's other work, but <clears throat> um, that photograph is just like it it. It's like the Ramones photograph. It, I love this one too, man. Yeah, that's you know so many, so much history outside that house, uh, in that band. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty amazing to be yeah, there. Yeah, and well, here, here's here's this sort of after shot, and and I love, and I know Ian does this with the skateboard and everything. You know, he's very accommodating to visitors. Yeah. You know? I yeah, think. he uh, he was generous enough to go. He, he actually, it was his idea. He was like, oh, hold on. Let me go inside and get you something. <laughs> and he went in and got me the skateboard. I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. Wow. Actually, Drew, I sent you a picture uh, through your email. I don't know if you could drag it out really yeah, quick. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, he uh, he's he was, he's. Did you just send it? You just sent it now? I sent it to your email, yeah, like 10, 15 minutes ago, knowing Didn't that you were probably going to speak about this. So. Didn't come uh, through. Oh, shit. So. I don't see it. Um, um go on but yeah uh ian's been very generous uh and 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 um helping me with this project and uh allowing me access to that and inside the house and um inside discord and and you know giving me a little personal tour oh there it is yeah well that's one of them there was another image as well but that's great that you got that yeah so yeah, that's, it's, yeah. it's a great yeah you oh, have to, you have to get that photo. I, I actually said to Ian, I was like, you should just do a book of all the people that visited, have taken pictures that have stories to tell, <laughs> you know, you, 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 got something there. It's, it's, it's great. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. It, who, who, who took this shot? If you're uh, not, if you're in it, it's, uh, it's, um, uh, what was his name? Jeff? No, no, not Jeff. <laughs> um, <clears throat> One of the guys, I think he lives there now, but he this was in a, a band. He was in a he was in a band um, that was probably on Discord. Uh, I'm this, just forgetting his name right now. This is a cool one. I'm going to show the sort of the current shot, and and then and then we'll kind of go backwards. This is the current. This is what it's looking like today, right? Mm -hmm. And then 
it matches up with this shot here, which I'm assuming this looks like this goes back even. This is like a 1980 shot. Yeah, uh, 80, 82. You know, Ian's got an afro here. Yeah. You know, 82, 83. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Right. Yeah. This is this is a great one, man. And no, this was fence, this is an 82. He doesn't change that fence. Yeah, this is like 79, 80 maybe, you know? Yeah, it, I, this might have been right after Minor Threat broke up. Oh, he grew, I, okay, I didn't realize so he grew it was his right hair after Minor Threat. Well, what, we're watching those bushes grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, out of, mm. out of those shots, which really spoke to me, this one's my favorite because I've, because I've been here. I've been here, and it's it's heavy, man. Yeah, yeah. He allowed me access down there, just to know that they practice down there and the history. So those things, those things are special. And uh, and he's so generous to allow me to go down there and get those pictures. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool to be there and to know what happened there and the yeah. history. And it's just a basement. But you know what came out of that basement was, I was, was so special. I was down there mm. when the equipment was set up in you know 1982. Wow. When 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 I was down there with SSD control, we took a road trip down there or whatever. Um, and they were playing the Chancery. We stopped by the Discord house and we went downstairs and the gear was set up. You know, I remember. You know, so I was actually in that basement. And that's uh, awesome. That's here's, great. Here's a shot. <clears throat> Talk about ghosts, man. Woo. Man, it just almost sends, makes the hair in the back of my neck stand up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Like, you know, that's just a shitty picture, but yeah. it's great when you have the context of what happened there. Yeah. I almost love just seeing that. Um, yeah. It's yeah. almost a, you know, I almost want to do this some as like an art piece of just like using that as a photograph and just, and now you know the history or what was there. It just makes sense and it makes it all that more special. But just looking at that, it's just a basement. It's some shitty basement. Yeah. But uh, the history yeah. that happened there the is just amazing. just comes right out of that photo, the energy of it, you know? Yeah. 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 And, 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 oh, yeah. And, and while we're on the Ian thing, you know, and, and boy, this is a deep dive here, man. You went, you went deep on this one, man. On this bit here. Oh, yeah. This Which is... is <laughs> Which is funny. This is where the they used to work, Henry and Ian. This was this was the Hagen Dodge. This was the Hagen Dodge. Yep, that's where the, they worked, which is now a liquor store. Yep, which is funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, <Yeah>. right, <laughs> <clears throat> right. But like that, that was that was another one where uh, um, the pictures that were taken. Uh, I was able to piece it all together and find out where they were within the store. There's some. Uh, there's some old film uh, of them working in the store. So I pieced that together and I was right. able to really try to figure out exactly where they were, uh, where that would have been. It, obviously you wouldn't tell, or you can't tell it's not really matching up with anything, but, um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's pretty it, great. It's incredible. And then here's the, here's the shot from, uh, I <clears> guess, <throat> I guess you found this, this is sort of an archival shot. You didn't take this, but, this this says yo. This was the Hagen Dazs back. Oh in yeah, the day. yeah. So that yeah that did exactly right there. So I was able to pin the location. Yeah. Um. See how the store setup was. Uh, yep. That window's still the same. That's wild, man. Yeah. yeah. That is wild. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, you know Henry Henry was the manager of the Hagen Dazs. The crazy, right? <laughs> and, and, and you know. This this story has been uh, bantered back and forth quite a bit. I personally was not there at the A7 when he jumped up on the mic when Black Flag played there. But our good friend Jamie from SSD Control was there. You know, that show is that moment is sort of like um, Don Larson's perfect game where like everyone cl I was there. But I, <laughs> Jamie, I know, was there. Um, and, you know, Des said, you know. Henry's got to, you know, Henry's got to be at work, you know, at haagen tomorrow at, you know, at 11. <laughs> We're going to let him sing a song because he's got to go. And he came up and he, si he sang Clocked In at wow. A7 and then got in the car. If you read Henry's book, he says it too. Got in the car, yeah, drove straight to D.C. and went straight to work. That's you know? funny. That's great. Yeah. It's a great one. And uh, speaking, speaking, which is another, uh, another series that really, uh, really matched up nicely, huh? which is this one. 
<clears throat> yeah, so that's when Henry went out to the West Coast and, and you know, was in Black Flag. And uh, um, it's funny that 7-Eleven is still there. It's still a 7-Eleven parking lot. I went there and kids were hanging out right there exactly like Henry was. Um, is, it, is that Redundo or Hermosa? Her, Redundo, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's right near the SST uh, yeah. <clears throat> offices right around right around that area. Sure. And just like, you know, yeah, the tree lines. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, right. yeah. Just like knowing where the offices are and then being like, where's the 7 Eleven around there? And then <laughs> going on Google Maps and finding the 7 Eleven as of where it is, uh, it, it's helpful. Look at this view. Yeah. Huh? I, haven't, I haven't seen this. Though. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Never saw that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, once in a while, I I, I I I mix it up a little bit. Let pe let let people see a different perspective, you know. Yeah. His workstation. Yeah, those yeah. are the bars. Where yeah, the magic yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we before we leave, um, sort of the DC contingent, um, boy, talk about a score, bro. I, and and I po and I posted what when you did this, I said, boy, you really really outdid yourself with this one. Oh yeah. Come and on that, now. I wouldn't. <clears throat> so Ian, I owe that all to Ian. I was yeah. not going to be able to find that location as of, I mean, I would have had to find out where the photographer was living back in 1979. <laughs> sure. And uh, it just happens that that wall is still there. And, you know, and he was able to tell me where she lived and he went on Google maps. It was funny. I was, you know, just over his shoulder <laughs> going through Google maps like I do. And he was showing me it's right here. This is where it was. Wow. And I was able to, so I would, they, that Ian helped me on that. I, I owe it all. Was to that, him um, <clears throat> was that Connolly? Was that, um, who took that picture? Yeah. 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 Right. Um, this of course, for those who may not know, mm -hmm. this is, this is the, um, teen idols, uh, the cover of the teen idols record that mm -hmm. they used. Right. Yep. Uh, Discord Records number one, number and one. Uh, here is another shot. Uh, um, here's here's what it looks like now. And you know, you know what I was going to ask you. I thought maybe it was like, I thought maybe is this like outside the Wilson Center or something? But I guess it's just a trash. It's just a trash. You know, we tr there's trash bins inside there. In front of a just in, yeah, just in like, front of a, uh, an apartment complex. <clears throat> and that's where she lived. And that's where they used to go skate and uh, and hang out. And here you go. Yep. Oh. Wow. Yeah. And this is like 1980 here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Might have been. Yeah, 80, 79. Yeah. Yeah, this is 1980. Yeah, look yeah. at this. It's, it's just. It's just <laughs> yeah, so great, man. These, I like I said, you outdid yourself with this one. Man. Yeah, this that's a great. that's a deep dive. That's, that's a, a deep dive right yeah. there, man. Really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, that, that's that's a great one. Um, you know, I think last time we did we did Guns N' Roses in front of CBs, but you know, this is a photo that that gets a lot of mileage out there. This one, you know, yeah, yeah. bad religion. So yeah. I could just do a series of just all the yeah. iconic bands and people. Oh, there's the H two O one you did, yeah, of course, yeah, H two O, and you yeah. know, yeah, I you, there's. There's a plethora of, of photos, but I love Bad Religion. I yeah. hadn't seen this picture, uh, and that's pretty great, yeah. And also, that's like a great era of Bad Religion. Yeah, yeah, it that is. That was the killer yeah. era right there. You yeah. Know? Yeah, that, that was, they were really great in that, in that, uh, that, that run there. Um, what else? I think that what, what you know what but before we before we take um we're going to take our last break we'll come back and we want to get into some stuff that you sent me that you're looking for or or, or whatever whatever yeah. you know um but i want to make a comment on you know we did last time you were on the show we 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 did this and I, i'm just going to bring it up again and i i know the last thing people want to hear me talk about is the grateful dead but that said, <laughs> that, that, that said, uh, 
I said, you know, these shots of them playing a free show in 1968 in Columbia, which is not far from me here, are, are, are really incredible. Yeah. Um, and, you know, here's a shot and there's this other shot. Here's Weir playing Columbia in, in 1968. And one of the great things, one of the cool things about it, too, is there's footage yeah. that exists from that day. Um, it's, it's sort of jam synced because, you know, back then th th there's no there's no proper you know, they jammed in some audio. But, you know, it's it shot MOS. But this is it. That's Columbia University right there. <clears throat> they, they, they snuck them on. It was like a, they were demonstrating. I think it might have been an anti-war thing or something. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And a lot of the police had <clears throat> come down on a lot of the students that were protesting. Yeah. And solidarity, you know, Grateful Dead came and played. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but this is like great footage of them from the 60s. Um, but that, that sort of led me to um, – well, let me get that off. That led me to to another uh, another shot, and which was interesting. I thought of. Well, I'll go with this one. No, I'll go with I'll go with this one first, which is interesting. Which is a shot that you I don't know if you put it up after of them Grateful Dead in Central Park in 1976. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you know that got me thinking like. What were the great, the great, what business did the Grateful Dead have in Central Park in 1976? Basically, none. You know, the, 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 the why would the great, and then I'm looking at this photo and going, you know, they kind of look like they're about to go on stage. And, you know, they're sort of wearing their stage clothes. Now, this picture, I noticed the photographer told them to all take their glasses off. Mm -hmm. because four of them in the other picture are wearing glasses, including sunglasses. Mm -hmm. In this picture, none of them have glasses. Interesting. <clears throat> Knowing what I know about the Grateful Dead, I know that they played, and I also am looking at this photo thinking, this looks like a beautiful spring or summer day. Yeah. And based on what they're wearing, and no, no, Ray, no, Ray. Um, Radio City was 1980, but the Grateful Dead played the Beacon Theater in the Upper West Side in 1976. So that's this era probably taken, and it was in June, June of 1976. So I wouldn't doubt that these were taken June of 1976, right before they probably walked <laughs> over to the Beacon and played or earlier in that day. Yeah. That's just what I, knowing, knowing what I know. You're doing exactly what I do sometimes. Is yeah. I'll, I'll go through the tour schedule and where they are. Cause a lot of the bands, they get, you know, just a certain amount of time before um, they go on um, yeah. or after they do sound check. That's right. And it's, you know, their tour where they're playing that night. So I'll know I was able to pin some Nirvana photos in Hoboken when they played Maxwell's sure. <clears throat> of just that. I knew that right. they, you know, they took some time to go away and take some pictures before they went on that night, and I was able to locate them just from that. Uh, oh, no, it's Donna. Now, here come the, the dead comments. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, we've learned to appreciate Donna. No, that's dead. Um, you know, let, let's, let's do, let's do a, a, a question before we take a break, and then we'll come back and, and kind of look at stuff that you're trying to figure out. Ray Hogan asks, have you ever been chased from a location? I have not been chased. Like, get, um, I'll get him. Yeah, like I haven't been. Like Frankenstein with the <clears throat> pitchfork. I, I went to the Breaking Bad uh, house. Um, I didn't, I just went to visit it. But the owners of that house, you know, going back to the Friday stuff that we were talking about, they get visitors. And this was about five years ago. They get visitors every, seriously, five minutes. A new visitor is coming up to their house. And so they were not happy with me going there, just looking at it or just driving by slowly, which it is a yeah, private property. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> they were not happy. So it wasn't, that was the closest thing of getting chased away. Can you imagine they were not that? happy. Could you imagine that? Like buying a place and like, just being like nonstop, like whatever yeah. this is, or like, even, even, listen, this is easy stuff. Could you imagine like the locations where they shot like, friends yeah, yeah. well I, like I grew up um 
you know, not too far away from the Amityville Horror House. Oh, right? yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And, you know, as kids, we would drive past it, you know, blah, blah, blah. and then, you know, the, the new owners went to great lengths to change the change face. The change the address. Didn't they changed the address. And the address. Yeah. They changed the address as well. And, you know, and, and, you know, like in recent years, people would be like, oh, can you take me there? And I like, I didn't, I don't want to. Like, I yeah. just yeah. kind of feel like those people deserve yeah, their yeah. neighborhood exactly. back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Christopher Hoffman says the Breaking Bad house people are some angry people. I've seen videos. Yeah. Oh. So, I, so I guess, that's <laughs> like I said, it's it's every five minutes. I am not exaggerating. I walk, and this is Albuquerque, New Mexico. Who the hell is there? Like, yeah. it's just constant. And, is that you know, right? Is that where it is in yeah, Albuquerque? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good yeah, because <clears throat> yeah, it's even worse nowadays because everybody has their phone and everybody wants a memento, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lori, do you want to hang out with us? You you want to come back or? Sure. I mean, all right. Well, I'll, I'll be, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Steve, I'll see you in a few. Let me just do a good. quick sponsor thing. And we'll come back. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks for having in. Thanks for hanging in there. This is the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, and we are sponsored by New York Hardcore Comics, The Organic Grill, DTFM Vinyl Distro, Generation Records, One Two Six Hardcore Clothing, Upstate Records, and the Texas Silver Rush. They're a jewelry designed firm and boutique store located in the birthplace of the Texas country music scene in Fredericksburg, Texas. They specialize in working with musicians in all music genres to design and create unique one-off pieces, as well as to style them for stage, album covers, promo photos, and social media exposure. Their client list includes Rock Roll Hall of Famers, Greg Rolay, Ringo Starr, and of course, Agnostic Front. Information and online sales are being taken at their Facebook and Instagram pages, and of course, www.texassilverrush.com. Come on now, Upstate Records. They're a New York-based DIY independent metal and hardcore label. Founded in 2017, they broke into the scene with their inaugural 26-band compilation in 2018 and since have churned out over 80 releases in their brief five-year history. Look for new releases by Mark Rizzo's new band, Revenge Beast. Carl from Earth Crisis is fry up. By the way, we just booked Carl from Earth Crisis to come back on the show to talk about his new project. Fury of Five, Angry Corpses, and a few more surprises that are in the works. Check them out at www.upstaterecordsnewyork.com and use the code STONE10 for 10% off. Uh, please, if you're watching the show in rerun, subscribe to the show right there. There is a button. There's also a little bit of a merch line. Any way you contribute to the show is much appreciated. Of course, as you know and I know, there is a Patreon page. Please get down with Patreon. Uh, what's up, Bert? How are you, brother? I hope you're well, man. Thanks for stopping by, Bert. Um, I hope your day is going well. Uh, is that right, Mark? I took my cousin to the Friends Building pre-COVID. 10.30 at night, didn't read that corner pack. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Um, what else? I think we got everything else. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's keep it moving. Oh, you know, I, once again, I want to mention that uh, Rap Bones Pop-Up is this Saturday on uh, 25th Street and Rampage Fest 5. Hegs. Brought to you by Hegs in the New York Hardcore Chronicles. Rampage Phase 5, Reaching Out, Cropsy, Extinguish the Code, Pink Mist, Sewage, Raid, and Disguise. Coming up, free show this Sunday. Uh, that said, let's clear the deck. Let's bring our guests back on. Let me get rid of every... Any questions you have, now's the time to post them. Let's bring back on Lori Dawn and Steve Birnbaum. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, push that cat out of the way. I know. <laughs> like <laughs> before the cat wrecks everything. I know. They sense that the covers are off the, <laughs> the furniture. So, <laughs> so let's um poke around a little bit, Steve. Uh you sent me a folder of stuff you're looking to identify. Yeah, hoping and, that some New Yorkers can come locate some stuff. Am I correct? Uh, did I understand? Is this one of them that you're looking? Yeah, I didn't dive. I, that would be an easy one. I, well, Drew, I, you, you know I, it right I, away. Right away, bro. Yeah. So, so mm. first off, great, great um, photo of Kiss. Uh, that's that's their boy. Um, what was his name? Big. Um, he just put a, he put a book. He passed away recently. That's their the bodyguard. Right? What's oh, that? Yeah. Wow. The guy on the right. Yeah. Yeah. That's their bodyguard. That's um, not Big mm. Al, Big Mike, Big Dave. 
I forgot what his name was, but he just put a book Big. out. He, Big Mick? He's no. I just said he's, he's just, big. just big, big <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, that, that guy was their bodyguard for, 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 for many, many years. Now, obviously looking at something like this, you got to figure they were probably up at their manager, Bill O'Coin's office, which was right in that area there, which I think Bill O'Coin's office might have been. If you see the left, you see on the left there that the mm-hmm. entrance to that building. Yeah. The entrance to that building is the infamous, world famous Brill building. There you that's, the Brill, that's the Brill building. Wow. So that's the connection right there. I think Bill O'Coin's office was in the Brill Building or right across the street from the Brill Building. So, so did you know <clears> – <throat> so what information did you use? To get, did you know the Brill Building yes. or did you know the deep dive of the manager being in that building? All that. Oh, all of it. So I, just, you, I just took one right. look at it. I just <clears> took <throat> one look at it and said, that's the Brill Building. He was there, yep. O- 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 Bill O'Coin's office was right there. I think it was either across – I think it was – because there was the Brill Building, and there was another music building right across the street from the Brill Building that was that that um, was just all music stuff, you know, public. And I think his office was in there. I' th- pretty sure. So I think they probably put their makeup on in the office and went right down. But as soon as I saw that, I, I, I that's the Brill Building. I, I, yeah. I knew that. So it's on Broadway, right? Yeah, yeah. it's still there. It, yeah. it, it's so so yeah. And then and then I saw their bodyguard and, and, and all that. So let me. Let me look into. Um, is it top top find I want to get? Is that what we should go for here? Some of these some of these are. Um, right, let me get rid of this. Okay, I know a little. Now these are. Keep in mind, everyone, as we're looking at these, we are trying to we're trying to locate. We're trying to locate this stuff. So let me start with this, and I know what this is. Um. I know what this is. This is um, when Bob Dylan was living in upstate New York. This is on his property. Mm -hmm. This is specifically on his property. Um, This is an Elliot Landy photo, correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So when when Dylan was living in the the Woodstock area, um, from what I know, from what I know about these photos that I've seen, they are taken when he was, he was, oops, what did I just do? Um, when he was, I don't want to say retired, but he was um, sort of, he pulled back from the public eye for a little yeah. bit. And mm. I, I do believe this is, this is the same house. Yeah. 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 So that might be a tough one. Get located. Yeah. yeah. And that's something you can't go Google maps and definitely try to locate, but um once I find out where the house is, and did you else, did you um did, have <clears throat> you have you gone up there? And I was going to ask about this band. You you did now. This is I believe this is really pretty much in the very same area. You did you did shoot you did go to the house uh, the big pink house the right? big pink yeah yeah yeah. <clears throat> that isn't there though. I, I no? don't no, it's not. Um, I I always thought that since the way they're dressed here it connects with big pink or upstate New York. It is. It's up there. It's not at the big pink <clears throat> oh, oh, location. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it, it's up there. It's up in that area. I think that might be on their manager's house. Uh, that was, uh, on, that uh, was, yeah, that was um, who managed Janis Joplin. He had Bearsville studios. Infamous. Yeah. But, Inf- um, yeah. Albert Grossman. Albert Grossman. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so those Hills, uh, you see kind of a road there. Which I'm hoping is now a paved more of a. Sure. I don't know though. Is that something? I mean, that's just a great image. It picture, sure is, man. And I would love to to be in that spot. <clears throat> is, is that, that you, is, you would try to match up the hills? Yeah, I mean, those hills would is probably my. Without knowing the information on where the manager was living, I think those hills would be my my key in trying to find out where the heck that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, our, our, our one of our uh, North uh, American friends says looks like Ithaca, Elmira. It's I think it's upstate New York. Yeah, I, I do think it's somewhere in that area. That yeah. That, that is this an Elliot Landy photo? That is yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm-hmm. the that's the upstate guy, right? Yep. Yeah. 
that's the guy. Yeah, those the I think those ones, uh, Drew, are the ones I said I really want to get. Probably, but the other ones, I think there was another folder where it was more of like the locations I had no clue or I haven't looked into yet. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me see. But those would be like that's a top picture I really want to get. Would that along be... with the minor thread. Oh, don't you know, know haven't researched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. those ones would be the ones. All right, let's take a peek at these, see, shall see. we? Let's see who can. Ooh, Andre the Giant. What do you got? I thought, you know, you knowing, you know, you liking wrestling and everything. Yeah, I sure. thought that would be a fun one. <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah, that's a good one. Hold on. It's just funny. That picture is just funny. I just, that recently came about. I hadn't seen that. Look at that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, that theater in the background, I can't. I mean, that would be the clue that I'm going off of. I didn't know a cab there. <laughs> yeah, right. Obviously, obviously, New York City, because yeah. those, those are New York cabs. <laughs> Could you of, imagine being a cab driver and you just, you know, you see that nailing you down? I don't know. Do you stop? <laughs> right. You would like to think, you would like to think that since the, that it seems that the traffic's going uptown. Which would lend you to believe that that's Eighth Avenue, like which, you, makes, which which makes sense <clears throat> because it's coming off Times Square, and all the, and that that was sort of the 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 fade the fade out from Times Square. You still had some of these sort of porno porno ish theaters, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm almost yeah. tempted to say you know Eighth <clears throat> Avenue and Forty Fifth or Forty Sixth or Forty Seventh Street, you know. Yeah, I would be a good bet. But that, that theater I says Holly something. Yeah, right. So that Holly. would be my go to. Yeah. I, I would try to right. find that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look at Andre, man. Jeez. Wow. I just thought that that picture was funny. And you yeah, like you know, wrestling and everything. That's a good one. <clears throat> um let's see, what what else um do we do we really uh, you mentioned the cure. You got a cure one in here. Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. That's up near columbus that picture but i can't i don't know i haven't really looked into it up near columbus circle you're saying i think so i think this is in that area you know this could be a tough one because this could be one of the cases where it just doesn't exist anymore. yeah the building you know yeah. it's just literally none of it is if it's, it is the columbus circle area is this this is the this is the early 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 yeah, cure. that's our first u.s tour yeah Astoria Lou says definitely Eighth Avenue on the last one. So, but you know, you'd be surprised, Lou, about these pictures because it could very well be shot on the other on the other angle, and it could be that street could be going downtown. It could be Seventh Avenue, but you know, yeah, this Cure one is. I mean, those. I, I don't know if you can Google those stores. Yeah, uh, Adler's so Queen would be there, you but know? that that building in the back. Uh, it's a kind of blown out in the yeah, back. Yeah, kind of would be maybe a a, a pin yeah, of I where I would maybe too. look. You know, it'd be funny if it, it's like it's my fucking corner right here on yeah, 86th right? <laughs> right. Street and Broadway. Yeah, yeah, you know, like it could be. I mean, yeah. that's like what my neighborhood looked like back then. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but um, yeah, I'm a huge Cure fan, so I love that. That, that, that that's that's a great one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the cure is on my bucket list. I've never seen them play, and I really want to see them play. Yeah, I'm going in June. I'm excited. I got tickets. Right on. Uh, let's see. Where else should we poke at? What's this Lenny Kravitz? Yeah, this is like, pretty iconic. Let me see this. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, besides Lenny, whatever, whatever you think of him. But it's an I love iconic, Lenny, I think, man. I think that's a great album cover. Yeah. Um, I think we it love, was. We love Lenny. From, yeah. Lenny's like cool. Lenny. Yeah. Lenny's a New Yorker, man. Yep. We're, we're cool with Lenny. Um, yeah, so what is that story? Well, I almost wanted to, I thought that was maybe like pearl paint, but it's not. <clears throat> I, I almost think that I almost think knowing what I know, I get a vibe of like, um, like Soho, yeah, you know, definitely. Okay, here's a clue see the sidewalk, those, those old school New York sidewalks that were like big, massive slabs like that. They're, they're not concrete, you know, and they're not little blocks. They're massive old, like big slabs of block. That's, that's a Soho, Soho thing. That's Soho. Yeah, yeah. That's Soho. Um, and the 
album cover picture which i is, have let me let me find it is just you know obviously like that's like once i locate that i'll probably be able to locate something that's a little bit more zoomed in against a wall i'll be able to it's probably right around that corner <clears throat> is, this, is this this was a great record too man um this is the album cover right yeah mm-hmm. yeah great record Listen, I, it's, I almost want to say it's like that Spring Street, the graffiti wall, the bank, the old. Uh... Yo, Lenny Kravis is my age. He went to public school in New York. He was Romeo. He was Romeo Blue, Romeo bef- Blue. Bef- before he was Lenny Kravis. Yep, so, yeah. you know, and, and and he grew up with some friends of mine and we, we like we're, Lenny Kravitz gets a pass, man, for anybody that wants to give him. Good. Cards That's good. Show. I didn't know if uh, I, I've seen Lenny many times. I'm a fan. But yeah. you know, coming in this territory of your show, Drew, I, I, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> We're talking about Lenny and Grateful Dead. Where are we going? Wow, this is this is a great. Well, you know, <laughs> you know who doesn't get Ken, you know who doesn't get cut any any slack on this show? Billy Joel, <laughs> Billy <laughs> Joel, <laughs> Bill Collins, and Sticks. Bill Collins, yeah. Yeah, fuck Phil Collins. <laughs> we don't. We can't figure out why, but yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got some bangers. He's got some hits. Drew's show, no, Drew's rules. <laughs> <laughs> he brainwashed me like and Oasis. We were talking about a lot. You're, you're. Yeah, here we go. Look, look. Yo, fuck Billy Joel and Phil Collins <laughs> and Sticks. That's right. <laughs> right. All right. This is wow. This is a challenge right here, huh? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I, mean, I know where this is. I know where this is. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I mean, that building. My guess, looking at the building behind him, it looks like the west side of New York, like Greenwich <clears throat> Street, like, oh, like a block or two in from the west side highway. Um, yeah, where they have those, it might be the same series I'm thinking about, but they have a bunch of those garage. Yeah. Like a whole row of them. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's, Gren- that, that's right. That's <clears throat> Greenwich, Greenwich Street. That, yeah. That's that. I could be wrong, but yeah. That that that's a maybe. I mean, obviously, it's. I mean, he was a Manhattan kind of guy, you yeah. know. So. That's a good one. Boy, I mean, getting the insight and scoring one of those, man. That 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 that's a great win, right? When you yeah yeah. What's oh we just have Moby on the show? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, that's why I put that up there. That Let was a great, see. great show. Let me see. <clears throat> have you have you ever like tracked down one of these and it was in like kind of like a murdery neighborhood now? Well, going back to some of those LA spots. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's been a little. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's funny. Some of the comments are like, "What are you doing there, dude?" Like, you know. Yeah, I know you're not from there. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll help you your out next time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this, these, this Moby shot looks like it goes back a ways, right? This is what, like night, like early nineties. Yeah. The, the other image drew that of him on the, um, a little kid ride thing. Um, like this is something where I would work backwards. So if I found this location, I would probably be able to pin the other photograph from the series, uh, that's a little bit closer up and it doesn't have as many clues. Um, you talking about this? You should just I should just send them to Moby and ask them. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's a <be> cheap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the image. Yeah, so that's one way to do it. <laughs> laundry mat. Does anyone recognize that? <clears throat> I'm ho- that's what I'm hoping that someone would just. Oh yeah, that was I remember that that was on the corner. You know, I, I, I'm really feeling like look at that twister tag on the door. Um, and looks almost like a, a Keith Haring tag on the door. Um, I almost feel almost like it's the Lower East Side. Yeah, I would think it's probably where he was living. Yeah. Here's another one. I mean, like you said, this shouldn't be – this is sort of – this should be easy to, uh, to figure out. Yeah, I don't know. I would think, think that someone would maybe remember that <laughs> that graffiti. That, that is lower. It's got to be lower east side, you know. Huh. Yeah. All right. 
If all else fails, Just let go me to know. The, go to the source. Let me know if all else fails, <clears throat> and, I, and, I'll, and I'll send them to Moby. Yeah. He'll, he'll take the fun out of it, though, you know, right? I know, I know. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so where's where's he living? I, I, that's where it's I would go. Be low that's side. where I would probably start with where he was I living. He said on the show he was living yeah. in the side back then. Yeah. So, you know, that's a good one. Um, let's do one more. Let me see. Rob Zombie. Let me see that one. Yeah, that's one. I really oh, that one's tough. I have no, yeah, I have no clue. Well, I'll tell you what. Hold on. Oh. My guess on this. Huh. I need some backstory to figure that out. Okay. You know what I think this is? This is crazy now, right? Is it a school? No, this is, is what I think this is. This is what I think this is. Hold on. Let me find the picture oh, that goes. Tiles. Get ready for I think this. it would be a subway. Yeah, yeah. there's tiles yeah. on the wall. You, you kind of think, yeah, hold on a second. He was a bike messenger, right? I think so. He could have been all over the place. I have no clue. Yeah, that's true. Where's my. Have you ever just asked the people, or is it more fun to try to track it down? I, I've I've had a <clears throat> I've been able to build some relationships with some photographers that I really look up to, and I'm like, oh, send me that photo, you know, if I can get a good quality of that photo, so I can go. They'll just tell me, but I tell them like, don't tell me though. Aww. I want I wow. don't, and then they'll be like, oh, that's so. I was like, no, no, because I like I like I like yeah. looking and doing the that's search. That's the it, fun. Right? That's the yeah, going and getting the pictures is whatever, but it's actually yeah, what I'm doing behind the scenes and locating it and racking my brain and doing exactly what we're doing right now. That's the fun yes. part of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So here's, here's my sort of far fetched idea on this one. Um, let me just line up these photos. <laughs> and it might, it might be losing traction, but next to CBGB's was a flop house. And the stairs of the flop house, the doors were always open. And it was a vestibule there, and the stairs went up there. And there was a lot of – I remember pictures being taken in there. It was like a long, tall flight of stairs. Mm -hmm. And that sort of reminded me of that. Interesting. Um, Did it have um, – do you know the tiles? Because I think it had tiles on the wall. Yeah. Um, but it's the flop house that's still – there's still – it's not a flop house now, but there's there's a business there. But it's right next to, so you can see two guys in the door. See the two guys in the doorway yeah, there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always open to the elements. It was, it was an old. It was like an. It was there was like the doors. You know, it may, might not have been doors open. It was always open to the elements. But on the other hand, you know, you would think that it kind of feels like the entrance to a subway, but he wouldn't be, you wouldn't, I don't know if you would do that in the entrance of a subway. People are coming in and out, you know? And the stairwells, I, I don't know, it looks very narrow. And the rare, the rails of the, the subway rails, wouldn't be yeah. like that. See, the yeah. rails wouldn't be like that. They, you know, the subway rails come down. I, I'm telling you, it's crazy, but I do think it's that thing next to, to C, I think it's it's the flop house at the time next to CBGB's. I could be wrong. Yo, I'm down there on, yo, tell you what, Steve. I'm down there. I'm down there on Sunday nice. for 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 <clears throat> Rampage Fest Five. <laughs> and uh, you know what? If I remember, or yo, Larry Kelly, you're watching. Remind me. We'll go take a look for Steve. Appreciate that. Did he also go to um, Pratt Institute in the city? Um, did he go to Pratt or did he go to not not music and art? Um, I don't remember what the name of it was. It was Pratt. And, I, can see, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, because that's what, it, like, when I first saw it, it was like, oh, it looks like a, he's, like, in a school or a university. I don't know. For some reason, it just reminded me of a school. Yeah, state. that might be during his life. bike messenger days, so it might be right, right after, like, that's true too. yeah. This is know. a tough one, man. Oh, that's got to be, you know, I thought this that is, would be a little bit more easy. This is a, te this is television. Um, 
it's got to be right on the St. Mark's area. The yeah, you, you, seventh. Is this first. is this um, a godless photo? Yeah, yeah. So and in that address there, one sixty seven. That's a big help right there. So you got to look at that right. little detail. And too. then also right next to it, obviously, is like a um, um, slice to order salami something. It looks yeah. like there was a meat marker to something next to it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> It's a great doorway. I doubt that that's still like that, though. Oh hell no! Yeah. And here's yeah, here, here's, a, here's another television shot. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be right down in that. That's a tough well, actually, one. That actually, that looks, that, that, that one looks weird to me, man. That doesn't yeah. look like New York to me. The the buildings on the right kind of look like the buildings in. Uh, on Mignetta Street, but obviously on the left side, that's not how it is, and it's two. <clears throat> looks like a school. I wonder if it's the school on East Seventh between uh, First and A. You mean on the on the left side? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a... Oh, you know what that is? You know what that could be, bro? You see the buildings in the that's back? Not, dude, is that Sty Sty Town? It could be the projects on Avenue D. Yeah. Those could be the projects on Avenue D. So what you're looking here is this could be 11th, 12th, 10th, 9th between D and C. Yeah. That's a, and that makes sense with these guys, right? Back then, would they be over there that far on back in the day? It's hard to I mean, say. I don't know. Did they go past the, uh, I mean, you would know better. Godless would know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't want to ask. We don't want to ask him. Uh, uh, no. He's um, been. He's been great. Yeah, uh, he's he's amazing. He's a he's the greatest. Yeah, he's great. How about this blondie, uh, blondie and and um, and and, uh, and Fab? Wait, let, let me open up a couple of these. Now, the this you would think would be really sort of like, <coughs> excuse me. Oh yeah, of course. That's the playground on, you know. Oh uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I mean, I really haven't, but that, yeah, exactly. I would be like, yeah, that's where that is. I haven't. It's probably obvious. I would think someone would know that right now. Wow, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously, it's Debbie, Harry, Fab Five, Freddy, Grandmaster Flash. Is that yeah. Roxanne shot Roxanne and and? And Debbie's uh, Debbie's common law husband, Chris Stein. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What year was that? Do you know? Debbie looks even younger. Than, I mean, well, yeah. if it's, it's when if it's, it's yeah. when they did Rapture, whatever year that's that's like when they did Rapture. Well, it'd be later Rapture. then. Yeah. Huh? So it's probably 80, 81, yeah. right? <coughs> you no. Know? Um, here's a shot of Grandmaster Flash and, and a little wider view. That's I'm, I'm actually noticing that for the first time now. On that building on the right side there. <clears throat> yeah, that's a school, man. That that that's a school. Yeah, absolutely. Real estate could have been totally changed now. Yeah, no, that's a school. There's not that much real estate anymore of open like playground area. Yeah. Right. Is that right? That's Apache Ramos's ex-wife from the Warriors? Who is it, Lou? Who is that? Come on, we're looking for clues, Astoria Lou. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're on a fact we're on a fact finding mission. Yeah, we're gonna sit here all night. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Another cramps one, huh? This one caught my eye before. This one's very interesting. I get a downtown vibe, but I don't know. I also get a Penn Station vibe. This is this is interesting because there's a mar <laughs> there's a marquee on the right. That's a marquee. Does it say station? Is it Penn Station? No, it could be the like, word station. No, I, I was trying to figure it out. Um, I remember this marquee. It's it's in my mind's eye with those with it, it was like marquee for a theater, I think. And there's a movie, the movie's under it, like motion. It could be like motion something. It could be T-I-O-N of motion picture, mm -hmm. a caddy of motion, you know, something like that. 
Um, yeah, something like this seems so familiar that you walk by these places so often you don't look at these little details, but then when you know you find out where it is, it's amazing to be like, oh. I mean, this could this could be like the theater that's no longer there on like Second Avenue between you know like uh, or, or or Second Avenue. Am I thinking or or yeah, Second Avenue but that used to be one between Sixty Third and Sixty Fourth, but that marquee. What's getting me is you see like the little lollipops on the top of the marquee going up like that. Yeah. <laughs> that I, I know i know that yeah you know i know i know that you know that's a good i didn't see i didn't notice that before but that's good yeah those little those little sort of lights uh, that that like go each one goes up higher yeah it's the marquee of a theater um just not sure what you know those are the clues and then on and the obviously left, that's uptown it's got to be in more uptown because of that building <clears throat> absolutely you see the building on the left too peeking yeah, out. You yeah, know? yeah. I'd almost say it's like, is that the old like that Zigfield area or somewhere around there? You know, uh, yeah. you know off off of Times Square. You know, yeah, Fifty Second area. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, something something like that. Hold on, we'll do one more. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop. <laughs> You must have really looked at these photos. I have like my my screen as big as it can be on my computer, and I'm like, I'm like, where where does he see these little things? Yeah, I have a big screen, but yeah. I, okay. Yeah. You know, these are done in New York, man. They speak to me, you know, yeah. in a lot of ways. Like I grew up here, my, you know, I, I, I grew up here, so I, I see these things, and I love the older ones, you know. Uh, oh, Jim Morrison. Well, up the method. I mean, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to type in, but the Method Man. Some people should know that. That was an easy one, I thought. But if someone knows it. Uh, I don't have Method Man in this photo. Oh, you don't? It might be in the one maybe I, I know that uh, I located, but I just haven't taken a picture of it yet. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> oh Bowie's last photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's driving me nuts. So, Is Lori, that, Lori, that's one that I keep going back. I, oh. I want to say it's like it's at the theater that he had his play at, but I can't match it up with anything. It's driving me nuts. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> I keep going back to this one. I, I, I search and I search and it drives me crazy. And I just have wow. to take, <laughs> take a leaf. But wow. I, it, it's and, very you know, similar it's like, to his theater that he was at, but I can't find going through Google maps and, and the, the history going back a few years and stuff. Nothing is matching up to that. I don't know. Maybe it's a back alley of it that I can't see from Google maps. Um, huh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Wow, this is amazing, this one, yeah. And that sidewalk, yeah, that little sidewalk area is... Uh... And you could just tell that the photographer just set it up because it's just amazing texture between the wall mm -hmm. and the, it's like they angled him in, you know. Yeah. Right, kinda, right. Kind of kinda just like that. Of you course. know, and then there's like, and there's, then there's construction and people redo things, you know. It looks yeah. like there was already work being done on the, yeah. the you know, the wall to the side yeah. of it, so. How about, the, how about the Lizard King? That's another one that's like, I know, I, it, you know, it's got to be uptown. He was oh, no, always it, it's near gotta the be Central Midtown. Park. It's got to yeah. be Midtown or uptown. Yeah, just what? Uh, there's yeah. another image that shows the reflection of the buildings. Uh, yeah. Let me hold on. I would I love, think, to, love to find this one. I know what, I, I got no idea what this could be. <laughs> I got an idea. There's only so many subway stops in New York that I can just go through each one and yeah, that reflection, wow. like you know that. Okay, building. so this to me looks like uh, the uh, fifty. Uh, the the is it the end of the R? What is it, Lou? Uh, the the stop um, that we get off. Uh, you get off for work. Uh, the end of the R, fifty seventh and seventh. Is that right? Fifty um, seventh. Uh, is it the end of the R that stops at fifty um, seventh and seventh? I think is the stop. I, I think this is like right there, which would make sense. It's like right there. Carnegie Hall's across the street. The stage deli was there. Um, that's what I'm thinking on that. He'll, he'll he'll respond in a bit. This this is just a good luck, bro. I don't know how the hell this is. This is just I'm getting nothing from the Sinead O'Connor photo, man. Yeah, that's uh, the tough one, man. Oh uh, yeah. No part the parking with no. Yeah, it's almost. Is it backwards? Yeah, it looks like the photo is flipped. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think so. 
Yeah, that's a tough one. <clears throat> um, um, how about like a church? No parking in front of a church. Looks like yeah. the gates of a church. Seems like it. I don't. This this is. <clears throat> I think that's seventh. That like something like that. I was hoping like, oh yeah, those were the the gumball machines that you know that were on seventh that you know <laughs> I walked by every day. I'm right. pretty sure that's on seventh and and first or. Yeah, there you right, go. Right around there. Yes, 57th Street Subway N and R stop. Not 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 this one. The, the Morrison. Yeah, the Morrison. Yeah. One. You might want to if if you might want to take a peek at that. Yeah. 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 And let us know. Yeah. <laughs> if we figured anything out. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. Well, all right. That was a lot of fun. It's one of these shows I want to like watch over and see the photos again. You know, just to yeah. see. Well, thanks, Steve. That was uh, it was great having you back on. It was a Appreciate nice, it, calm, casual, enjoyable show, and I really needed it. So yeah, good. Anybody good. you want to thank or shout out? No, uh, you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, having me on here and talking with me and chatting. And you know, this is usually by myself doing this, so it, it's good to you know pick the brains of other people. And, well, and, we'll, and we'll bring it. you on next year. We'll bring yeah. you, you'll be like it'll be like yeah. a, a yearly thing. And. Anybody out there that's watching, please follow our friend uh, at, at the band was here on Instagram. It is an incredible page. Um, everything he posts, I love. So I'll talk to you soon, Steve. Take care. Thanks, Drew and Lori. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. That was cool. That was fun. Yeah. We could probably sit here all night and do that. <laughs> I know. I, I, I was, we were starting to go down a rabbit hole. I was like, and how about this? Believe me, there's like much, there's more folders, but I was like, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's worth it for you to take take a look at each one because you know so much about you know the well, area and the history. I saw the I opened up the Kiss one and I was like, oh yeah, it's the Brill Building. No yeah, problem. I mean anybody who does like any you know any walking tours, you know you walk past things every day and you're looking at things. I mean, you know the Kiss thing to me was like, whenever I saw a picture of Kiss out there with their makeup on, mm -hmm. my mind goes to where did they put the makeup on. Where are they coming from? Where are they going to? Right, right. You know, back then, and you know, they didn't just. You you need a for them to put that much makeup. That yeah, it was probably on. like a concert going on or something. Yeah, or or, or do a photo session. Right. So that you know that I knew their manager was right there. So uh, so oh, there's the Brill Building. So all right. So we're not going to see you at the uh, at the Rampage Fest. Uh, huh? No. All right. So sad. It's all right. Sorry, I'm going to miss it. Yeah. I miss everyone so much. Are you gonna uh, are you gonna come into New York for this? Maybe that I'm trying to make. That's why <laughs> I had to right. pick and choose. <laughs> yeah, pick and choose the one that that has the possibility of bad oh. weather, right? Exactly, exactly. So I'll see. Yeah. I'll see if it's if if the weather changes. I'm getting in my car. I'm going. Sure. Hey, Mark Tolch. Uh, great to have you back on a Wednesday, brother. Thank you so much. Laura, you want to thank anybody? Shout anybody out? Larry says he misses you. Larry with the hands of stone says he misses exactly. you. Exactly. With the fucking uh, baseball mitts of stone. You know? exactly. Oh, that's right. Oh, listen. Anybody out there that's watching regarding this show, we need some help. We need some help getting the stage out at 1030 in the morning and or putting it back at 8. We really need some able strong bodies you could come you could if, if you could come and just help in the morning to get the shit out you don't have to do it at night or if you could come and be there when the show's over we need some help so if you're of able body and somewhat able mind please <laughs> reach out to me or larry kelly the show's coming up fast we need some fucking people everybody likes free fucking shows in the park but some work goes into these things and we need some help please help us yeah. Absolutely. Good. Listen, uh, Mark says, if I lived down there, I'd load in out for uh, Sure, you would. Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. You fucking shirker. <laughs> you Canadian. He probably. No, he probably would. He probably would. <laughs> You'd probably be hiding in the bar, fucking drinking fucking beer, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I just want to shout out Gina. Is that right? Wait a second. I'm meeting up with your cousin, Alan Dubin, at the Possessed Gig in Brooklyn Saturday. I haven't been in New York City since 2000. It's been a while. Great show again. Yo, tell my cousin he needs to come on the show, will you? 
Everyone's on but my fucking my own my own blood. Tell him he needs to come on the fucking show. I know. Yeah, I know Mark would. I'm just busting his balls. All right. Anybody you want to thank or curse out or anything? Uh no, I'm just gonna shout out Gina because I know she would have loved this show. Yeah. So Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good night. And I'll talk All to right. you soon. Bye. Bye. Well, there you go. Listen, if don't shirk. Don't be a shirker in this life. Got enough fucking shirkers already, you know? Um, that said, uh, we'll see you. If I don't see you at the Rat Bones pop-up or at Rampage Fest or at the Milwaukee Metal Fest pre-party or at the Milwaukee Metal Fest, I'll see you back here for Mark Rizzo. <laughs> A week from Sunday. Thanks a lot, everybody. Until then, do good things and good things will come to...